Bowser.
The winner is the Snake from Thunder. Choose your character. Sheik. Zero Suit Seven. Oh, am, am I on? I ask this every time. Oh, I'm on. What up? Hopping in mid set because that's professional. Man, so this is actually like close. This is last stock. Oh, wow. Nice. <laughs> I uh, miss commentating with you, Tony. Yeah, I miss commentating with you, too. I'm just letting you know I, uh, I'm definitely like ultra out of it right now. Yeah. So I can't provide good commentary and I might like That's zone okay. out I might like space out for a while. That's okay. No problem. Okay. Don't worry about it. Hi Moof. I love you too. Oh, uh, we can't see the chat anymore. So I guess I can't talk to you anymore. There it is. Now I can. Whoa. Whoa, dud. Look, I have a lot of fans and you don't have any. You're not wrong. I actually... I mean, you're number 11 on the PM rank, so I mean... You're actually... Don't say I'm number one. I'm your fan. Oh, uh, there we go. I'm, I'm player zero, right? Don't, yeah, don't, don't acknowledge it. That's fine. It's horrible. No, Craigasm. Okay, so I'm going to do commentary on the match now. Okay. So... I was just about to say that I played Nave a couple weeks ago in Mass VR, and... Uh, I, I always meme about him having like very predictable edge guards because he just spams down smash. But then he kind of fucked me up afterwards. Like he was doing, like, I don't know, he was just being a lot smart with his edge guards. So I feel like his play is evolving a little bit. Oh yeah. So I, I don't know. But um, man, the real surprise here is uh, Bowie Sheik. He's looking okay. It's not bad. He's really cool. But you know what's not cool? 
is that we can't see the scores because the taskbar is at the bottom. Oh, well, I mean, it's a best of three. <laughs> wow. Shine Core really dropping the ball? When's the last time we had that? Ooh. Oh, A couple I weeks. Mean, uh, Mostly professional streams. So, Drug Free Chew Jr. is the best game to watch. Yeah? Yeah. You ever heard of him? No. He's a top player. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I'm surprised I haven't heard of him then. Uh, Give, given my status. Oh. Uh, well, I guess you just need to do more research. Probably. Dude, I didn't know, like, I had no idea what the top like, top 10 was going to be for, uh, yeah, he just called him out for that. Yeah. Um, I, had no, I had no idea what the top 10 for PM was going to be. Like, I had, like, you know, the big names, but, like, people like the doctor, I had no, no idea. Or is it doctor? Which one is it? The doctor. It is the doctor, okay. Uh, but it yeah, makes Yeah, I had no sense. idea he was so good this year. Oh, I'm yeah. Sure. He's just, he's a really good player. <laughs> He was always in like that top 30 when I like mostly followed the scene, but I mean he's just top 10 now, I guess. Sure. Seriously versus Sheik on Saffron City. Uh, well, what do you think of that? Uh, I think whoever did whoever uses the Pokemon better uh, wins. Oh yeah. I would imagine. Uh, I don't know, can do some like stupid like down smash stun lock bullshit like Venusaur or something? No, because uh, you can still tech the wall. Oh, yeah, SDI or something. You don't I don't even know what Venusaur even does. I don't know. You mean when you throw him out of the Pokeball? No, he comes out of the door, right? On Saturday? Uh, that's just in the N64. That's not in this. Oh, that's yeah. I had no idea. I was, just, I was it, reaching. It's okay. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Whoever wants to use. Oh. Oh look, Nave has fans. Oh dude, Mufin is so so cool. Obviously. Yeah. So so how come you don't play the game anymore? I think you're dead. Oh Nave messed up. Dude, I'm gonna be honest, I suck against Sheik, I'd probably lose to Bowie. Oh yeah. I need to like be okay against Sheik again. Not that I was ever good against her, to be honest, but whatever. Do you want to hear my versus Sheik guide? Sure. Okay, so if you L cancel enough, then Sheik won't know what to do. Yeah? Yeah. I feel like she's just going to dash dance and grab me, though. And uh, he's dead. Sheik doesn't have a lot of tools to deal with L cancel. The winner is... I don't know what to make of that advice. I, I, don't, I don't like it. It, it seems wrong. I, I don't know what to tell you. Oh, Bowie won the, or no, Nave won the set. Bowie lost the set. There we go. So, though, good, good effort, though, to uh, last stock games. Hey, uh, Mr. Fellow Commentator. Yo. Uh, uh, what's your middle name? Why do you want to know that? Uh, because I don't know what to talk about. Oh, I mean, we could talk about whatever this is about to be. Oh, wait, this is going to be nonsense. Um, it's a secret. Oh, dude, I lost to Sean for the first time ever in ever, like a couple weeks ago at GHQ. Oh, yeah. Did he play King DDD? He did play King DDD. Wow. Did you go to legal stages? We did go to legal stages. Okay. And I did play Pikachu. Okay, cool. It was me tryharding, quote unquote. Okay. You tryharding is just you. It's just me attempting to play. Being cool. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I was doing all this, I was doing all this like awesome shit. So are we doing... I almost said ARAM. I don't, I don't know why I'm stuck in League of Legends. I don't even play that game anymore. I've never played that game. It's probably okay. I played it, what? All right, whatever. Um, <laughs> am I the same, same? Um, oh no. So oh, because they had the timer on. So this can go a maximum of 24 minutes, I think. All right, so podcast, uh, I mean, it's always podcast, but especially here podcast. Um. Well, okay, for those watching at home, haha. Okay. Uh, I don't remember what I was going to say. You need to tell somebody about something, about the context of this shit? Oh, I can do that if you want. Yeah. I don't care, I'm just, what, whatever you're going to do. So this is random element, random all-star, probably something else, but... All-star random, random element, I think it's called? Yeah. Sorry, I don't know. So random element is like when you hit someone, 
then it might be fire elemental. It might be stun. It might be sleep. It might be uh, whatever the. This has to be like illegal. It has to be now. Like, we can't play on tempo. It always fucking freezes. Every time. So the streamer is getting up on stage and screaming tempo. Tempo. at Jank. He's not actually screaming. He's just raising his voice at him. He's like, son, I am not proud of Do you. Do not make me ground you, child. Yeah. I am your father, and you will respect the rules of my house. Uh, so I have been asked what my opinion on, I on IAV Soar is. Uh, so I'm going to give my opinion on IAV Soar, if that's okay with you. Sure. You got nothing else to talk about? Okay, well, uh, I think that Ivysaur is a really good character, and it's really Choose weird, but I think Ivysaur Special is really load. fun. Choose your character. I don't know if they meant like competitively or like design-wise or what. Uh, I think Ivysaur is a it's a pretty pretty mid-tier character. Probably becomes low-tier when you factor in the fact that melee just shits on her. You general. really think that Ivysaur is a low tier? You really think that? What exactly do you find as low tier? Like sub 30? Like there's 42 characters. There's 41. 41. So sub 30, I would say, is low tier in my humble opinion. Okay, there, I don't think there's any way Ivysaur is that low tier. Low. Okay. Yeah. I'll say she's on the lower echelon. Well. Well, that's okay. Yeah, we can play. Um, no, yeah, I don't know. Melee's like really like hard to beat though for a lot of brawl characters. They're just like, <laughs> nope, better character. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna go play Jack. Bye. Okay. Good luck. Wow. Uh, so I'm a solo commentator now. So it looks like I might be doing commentary with the coolest player of all time. She's certainly not the best player. High noon. Hey, what up, dude? How's it going? Uh, uh, I it's going okay. How about you? Ah, uh, glad to be back. Yay! You know, everyone took a week off break for. How? How have they done this? They it's, weren't even doing anything weird, were they? The, they were on a, a non-legal stage. Yep. Mm. And they were doing uh, random element. Random oh, okay. Star. Okay, that was the problem. Okay. Got to run this. All right. Well, I guess they're playing a normal match. Yeah, look into the camera. He, he, they know whose fault it is. So Mr. Streamer is now yelling at his son once again. Uh, it's They're, they're playing uh, Random Element, Random All-Star, and so that's why it's crashing a lot. Uh, All right. Now they're playing for real. No other choice. Choose your character. Oh. Uh, hey, chat. Is auto audio quality good for you? It's kind of clipping for me. Uh, that's a good question, Mock. Um, I think the audio quality is wonderful. Mm. No. Oh no. They turned items on. But I think it's a normal match aside from that. So. Alright, well, it probably won't crash as long as they don't do random element. Yeah, yeah, I think that was the issue. Uh, you go first, Noon. What is your favorite item? I don't think I've ever played with items. Oh, Jeez. wow. I have no fun. I agree. But you've played against characters like Peach and Diddy before. I guess that's true. Out of, out of all those character items, what do you like the most? I think... You know what? I take it back. I like bumpers. Bumpers are cool. Bumper? Yeah. It's a pretty wild one. It, uh... I don't know. I just, I just like to hit off. Whoa, that was a Deku nut. 
I think they used their get item manipulation to get that Deku Knight. Wait, did they only put on... They did. Oh no. <laughs> I see how they're doing it. Oh god. It has a last hitbox and Pierce's shield, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you have to roll out of it, don't you? Yeah, or just mind game them. Didn't even make the soccer ball go anywhere. I've never seen that fun. <laughs> uh, it's, it's Ducky Mar, as they call it. He's a duck. It's Ducky Mar. Jank uh, really likes Ducky Mar. He really does. I think it's the primary reason that Wiki plays Olimar. Yeah, that's literally the only reason he plays the character, I think. Well, I guess Olimar's a really weird character, too, so that kind of is probably tracks well. Jank. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow, recovery with Bunny Hood. Why did he drop the star ride? Uh, it's uh, too powerful. He couldn't live in this world anymore. <laughs> he keeps on just using it right away. He needs to like wait for a landing or something. Oh yeah, he could switch to Zelda. What's Zelda's? Uh, Zelda's is the same, but one of them sends completely horizontal. One of them sends completely vertically. Ah. Yeah, so it's literally just the angle is the difference. I don't know which is which though. Uh, I'd imagine the horizontal one is worse, unless there's ceilings. <laughs> what was that? The winner is. Oh no! I don't like that. It's terrifying. He spun around too. So, um, Donkey Kong. someone switched to DK. It was probably Jenk. It was not. It was not at all. Oh. I don't know why I thought it was Jenk. But that's okay. He just Footstool them. Whoa. Uh, good question. They just did that too, and it crashed twice. They get DQ'd. Uh, no. well, I Start to power shield at it.
if if I had to have the items option on. Uh, well, if you're gonna just talk, you should look the stream here too. Yeah. Okay. So now my co-commentator now actually has a headset on. Look, you were just talking to a ghost before. That's, oh. that's respectable. Oh, okay. All right, so again, you have the option of putting items on. What is your legal item list? Uh, let's see. So I have the items on very high, and I can choose whatever items I want. Yes. Or does it have to be very high? Or uh, let's say very high, because now items get counterplay. There's there's set play at work with items. Okay, uh, so the items that I would turn on would be... So I'm going to list them off. And then when I am done listing them off, I will say done. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Done. That's it? Yeah. Come, Tony, no, you, I have a gun to your head. You have to pick an item. Oh, this is one item? Uh, fine, it can be one item. If you must choose. Uh... Yeah, Pokeballs. Okay. That's that's fine. That, that, that's actually like a melee thing. Like where you just play with Pokeballs on the stadium. Uh... Oh god, is this that over? Yeah. How do you feel about Ducky Mar? I I am not a fan of Ducky Mar that much. He doesn't. He's still playing. Olimar is a space explorer. He's not a duck. And what world is he a duck? Well, that's uh that's one of the treasures you can get as a duck head. Oh, is it? See, yeah. I don't play Pikmin at all. I'm actually not like. A... No, I have never played this game in my life. It's as, pretty fun. As a kid, when I played it, it just looked so like. I don't know. Stupid. Very, very stupid. Just to lead a bunch of like random men around. Yeah, you can get a little tube of toothpaste that is mostly gone. That's it? Yeah. It's very valuable. How many. That's not. That's probably not the weirdest item in that game. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of really weird ones. It's basically just random stuff you can find around. Okay. Um, so, Grant was telling me that you were uh, you were speedrunning a Pokemon dungeon game, but you weren't po streamlining the mainline ones. You were streaming the um, the WiiWare one. Yes, the one from 2009, which has no world record whatsoever and no English translation either. Like that matters. We like port half of Japan stuff anyway. Um, yeah. So I now have the world record at 11 hours and 51 minutes. I did it very did quickly. Just, okay. No, he didn't win. He did win. <laughs> yeah, you're sitting next to a world record holder. How does that make you uh, feel? See, I, I I, mean, yeah, I guess. So I, I didn't get up the entire time. I was just sitting there the entire no, time. No, I believe you. You're, you're the type of person to do Tales of Symphonia speedruns. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. How was... Wait, what's the world record in that game anyway? Like, 20 uh, hours? Depends on the like system and stuff. Because GameCube version, for example, saves a lot of time with, like, glitches that are only in that. So, like, the fastest out of any of them is, like, six hours. Ugh. Probably not the worst one either, though. I have no Animal Crossing as a speedrun that, like, I think that's the 20-hour one. Yeah, that's, like, yeah, the 100% speedrun. Yeah, crazy. Uh, have you seen the, what's it called, the Bachin Kaitos? Or whatever. No. The world record is, like, 341 hours, I think. What is this game about? Uh, I don't know a lot about it. Okay. Well, 341 hours. Uh, Batting Kaitos. Let me let me look this thing up. I'm not. I don't know why. Yeah, the 100 percent run of it. Oh. No, the game I'm playing right now is uh, Celeste. I will I will stand that game for the rest of my life. By the way, 66 percent off on the Wii, on the Switch Shop. Just for nice. all you streamers out there. 831 hours. 831 okay. hours, okay. This looks like a very generic RPG, but that is fine. 831 hours, I can't gauge though. I love Celeste so much. It's like, you think you're done with the game? No, they add chapter eight. And then they add B sides. And then they add C sides. So that game is like, I gauge like 200 hours if you want to do 100% in that game. You got a fan? Uh, hello, Mufin. You have been acknowledged. Oh, weak? 
though. I feel like PM players play like the most niche games out of all like the Smash communities. Like melee people are very mainstream, I guess, when it comes to many things. Maybe a bit more in the boomer taste of music. I love you too, move. Whereas I feel like Smash 4 and Ultimate maybe have more furry communities. But that's just that's just me saying it. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah. Oh, you got to Oh, you Tony has to play now. Okay. Bye. All right, bye Tony. I have not played PM in a hot minute, so do not take anything I say as something worth saying. Choose your character. Oh no, you got like 80 hours more content? Do you really think the B-sides and the C-sides are that simple? I can't even get through chapter seven yet. Choose your character. What, Luigi. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Ready? I see. I, I am very like arrogant in that game, so I will just. But you you feel like you're so close every time you're there. That's because that's because your brain's constantly thinking about this. It's like why uh. It's why when you do like homework, you generally just sleep it off, and you're like, oh okay. Three hours of paper. Eight hours. Eight hours. Okay. Yeah. All right. I believe you guys. I'm not. I'm not a speedrunner yet. I. I am getting there one day. Uh, today's not that day. Maybe tomorrow. Wait. How many games do they have? So what did they make before Celeste? If you know. Were they mechanically as good? Okay. Yeah. I mean, I can still no, see yeah, that. I played all of those too. Uh, Jumper 1 through 3. There was like uh, Ogre or Ugg or something like that. All of them were super cool. They're just like little, almost flash game, like jumping puzzle games. Yeah. And they were all really, really simple, just jump. But like, I feel like they're all the precursor to Super Meat Boy. All the precursors? Uh, yeah. I guess. Again, I, I've only played a bit of that one. It's just it takes. Celeste is the part the game I've made it the farthest in because it's the one I've had the most fun in. Like, it's, there's, it's very charming no how the character contact. bobs up and down crouching. Yeah, yeah. And if you can get that much down, I'm willing to put the time in. Uh, besides that, I know... What do I own? I own N++. Uh, what else did I buy? Choose your character. I bought a game called Monolith, which is like a, just a shoot -em up I mean, I'll, I'll look into them. I, I did not realize this company actually had something. I thought they were just like a random... Swedish startup. And that makes games? Yeah. I just thought like, oh yeah, okay, so this is another one of those games that just pops out the blue. And before that I was playing, uh, what was I playing before that? I was playing Bloodstain before that, which I like a lot as well. Uh, it's just very slow and I have actually played a symphony in that game ever. Like, look at Jumper down here. That's your character. And you're just going around like little laser fields. Jumping off walls and crap like that. How is this not the precursor to Super Meat Boy? No, when, you, when I see it, yes. <laughs> if, if it was just like, okay, he jumps, that's Super Meat Boy. That's, no, it's not really. That yeah. makes sense. He's a, he's a little red square, uh, square that wall jumps in uh, big spike filled arenas. In the grand scheme of things, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
What's good? Yeah, um, let me wait for Noon to play his set, and then we'll play. Sound good? Okay. Sick. How's it going, dude? Dude. All right. dude. dude. Uh, I'm alright. I don't know. No? Uh, do I have to sit through a dang set? This is gonna be like 20 minutes of just pure like Gordo action. Um, I don't know. Chris usually. Chris will probably win. I I don't know. These guys. I'm not one these guys played last. Probably at like GHQ. Probably. That feels like a CD2 in like the same vicinity. He's him out of the edge guard. That's a that's hilarious. What is about that? But he just he just lives just randomly like go up against DD. I don't think he has any fast moves per se. Like maybe tilt at best. Gordo if you're playing far enough. Other than that, I don't really know how this, this matchup usually plays out. <coughs> um, which one am I turning? Is that me? That's me. I'm gonna turn you up. Uh. Okay, I fucked up. Hold on. Uh, I can hear you fine. I know. I'm turning you up. Test sick. Okay, you're louder now. Okay. Um, I don't know. I mean, Falcon can air through waddles. Uh, he has a pretty good punish game against DDD. Um, and I imagine this down throw at least to like just as many um, down throw up throw. So I, don't, I think Falcon does pretty good. Uh, the only thing I have to watch out for is Gimp. Kind of just fast followers how they go, but get, or Falcon has a lot more range. He can weave around DDD a lot more. Yeah, he can control space pretty well. Um, I mean, I mean, you can't really camp on stage against him. So Sean has to do the ledge here. Yeah, no, it, it plays out about the same. I mean, I I, uh, I used to be in the region with Ripple, so right. I'm used he, to, like, the Wally shit, but still. Yeah, you used to be ICU, right? ICU? Uh, no, he actually... Or you used to be ICU, right? I... No, no, no. So, so how it worked out with us is that... Um, we were in Springfield, and we had a scene we didn't know about till like three months in. Oh, really? And then, it, but the scene was so dead, we actually had to go to ISU on Thursdays to like go to their weeklies. That's hilarious. So that's where I met Mao. That's where I met a bunch of other like old ISU PM guys. Swanner before he became like super famous. Yeah, when he was a student. That's when I met Swanner. Student Swanner. Student Swanner was still as ragey though. Cause, like, <laughs> I feel like he's had the same Mario for years. Which Boy, is, that's why he doesn't play. I, I'm pretty sure. I, don't, I think. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. He's always been more of TO to me. He um, has, but he he took the game serious for a little bit. Yeah, no, I remember. Me, yeah, me and Swanner met when I was like 15, probably. He came to one of our like weeklies, our like Smash Fest. Oh, what up, Swanner? When was this? Like 2012, 14, 2014? Yeah. How old are you? Uh, 2014. How old am I now? Uh, I don't know. You should know that. I was 15 in 2014. Yes. I was a little baby. How old are you now? I'm 21. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't, don't nair from ledge. Chris you can't refresh there. Okay. I, he, I, I'm sure he just got mixed up. He wanted to do nair from ledge and fade back, but he's messed up. Uh, how's your bracket going? Uh, I'm out at 2-0. It's like, uh, what, what, what happened round one? Uh, I got C-sharp round one, and then I just play the, the Roy Meta Knight matchup and suffer. True. Uh, oh, this is and then I played uh, Bowie, and I got Ganon. Yeah. Yeah, the force be reckoned with in this game. Uh, did you enter bracket today or no? I did enter bracket. I entered <laughs> melee, like you saw, and then I entered PM. Uh, I lost my round one against TBJ. I usually, I usually beat him, but he got me this time. Uh, now I gotta play Mike. That is a hard bracket. I gotta play Jim and Mike. That's crazy. Mike's my boy, then. Yeah, no. It's funny, I'm, like, the first time I met you, you were, like, <laughs> drunk as hell. Me? And just, no, yeah, you were, you brought, oh, like, I a... I thought you were talking about me. No, no, like, no, what? not you. No, uh, Mike brought, like, a bottle of vodka, and he was just, like, so happy to be back, and he's, like, just... Uh, yeah, no, you drank the whole drink thing. the whole thing? <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. And then you've been there, you've been calm ever since. I haven't seen you... Uh, Are you going to any events outside of like a try point or no? Jesus Christ! See, Chris, wait, who owned that? I think he stomped the road. No. Looked away. I assume Chris won, probably. Uh, okay. <laughs> mm 
Running for such a slow character is so much time to set off, set up off, yeah, set up stuff after throws. Just walks up menacingly yeah. and like up smashes. Sean swears that he can't. He has a terrible re like old man reaction time. And I'm like, dude, you can train that. He's like, no, I can't. I'm like, you can. Just like, just practice. Just anticipate. Refuse stuff. to. He's been playing the game for like a billion years. I'm like, dude, just learn. Just better your reaction. I don't think. I mean, I've I've played with Luigi and stuff. It doesn't seem like he's like slow on anything. Why didn't you go Whoa. for a grab release there? What the heck? Grab release have been the play against DDD. You think? It's good against fast fallers, alleged. It's really good against fast. Yeah, but he would held he held him for like three three hours. Couldn't and decide what to do. Yeah, this is where this is where DDD will shine in this matchup. Uh, if he can down tilt correctly. Okay, there's the old man reaction just coming in play. Uh, but I mean, you know, this matchup, you get one throw, and if you, if you guess right once, you would take the stocks. If you get them off stage, you guess right four times in a row. Who, Falcon or DDD in this case? Falcon. Oh. I'm sorry, DDD. You've got to guess off stage. I mean, you know. Listen, I've played Sean many years, many times in my life. Fuck DDD. It's like a Kirby down tilt, but... Well, it, he's a Kirby character. That, that should make sense, actually. Yeah, I guess, I mean, I guess. I guess it makes sense. I don't know. You gotta remember, DDD's technically the good guy. Kirby's just keeps eating things. Yeah, Kirby's the fucking man, though, and DDD's a little bitch. No, he did a giant hammer. This yeah, is a... He's got a dumbass jet hammer, and he throws his little minions at you. Kirby rides solo. No, he doesn't. He rides on the star, and he just eats, like, his enemies. And yeah, he gains their power. He's a fucking boss, dude. When, when, does, when does DDD do that? Yeah, he doesn't do shit, because he sucks. He is a great <laughs> ruler. Kirby goes ham. He's not a great ruler. If he was a great ruler, he would stop getting owned by Kirby all the time. He just eats things. He's, he's not in it for the, the power. He's a, he's Dude, a humble he, guy. He eats shit and spits it out. It's fucking gross. I don't know, man. I think uh, next election, you vote for Kirby, I'll vote for DDD. It's that, that's how we'll decide it. I'm voting for Kirby, dude. Well, for Kirby is a vote for uh, last eight minutes, eight minute games. Vote for Kirby is a vote for obesity. First of all, first of all, Kirby is very small. Just because he's brown, he just has a high metabolism. No, no one understands Kirby's blood pressure. <laughs> yeah, dude, he's got fucking holy shit. The metabolism of the gods. I play against Sean, and I'll just. Um, He'll throw Gordo from ledge, and it goes to center of the stage, and I'll just hold shine. I was away from the Gordo, Gordo dash. Fun fact, did you know that if Gordo and Waddle are, like, next to each other, or, like, inside each other, if you, wait, if you like, air dodge through it, it will prioritize the Gordo. That is Sean's explanation as to why I was able to reflect Gordo at Oh, okay. Because he wanted to Waddle dash, and he got Gordo dash instead, because they were really bad. It takes priority, apparently. Which, uh, wait, you can, oh, you can Waddle Dash with Gordos, too? Yeah. Oh. Does it give you an additional boost, or what, does, what happens in that case? Yes, it does the same thing. Uh, isn't the angle different on Gordos, though? Like, you can't do some shit. You, what's up? Oh, really? Like, higher or, like, far? Yeah, the throw is different. I think it's higher. Yeah. Right. Gan beats Lucario. Dude, I, I can, uh, Ganon Conrad will, like, whoop me with, like, Lucario Fox all day. For, like, the three times I've played Ganon, I, like, took a game and I was like, Ganon's the wave. Ganon wins. <laughs> it's a cursed ma It's a cursed matchup. It's definitely cursed, dude. Connor, if you're listening, I'm sorry. What happened to the old days where you could just button mash with Lucario and win? Dude, it's 2020. You can't do that shit anymore. Yeah, you say you gotta, you gotta. Lucario is like bad now. <laughs> Not bad, but like you know what I mean. In 3.5, <laughs> Lucario is like. Like Ganon. Lucario's not actually. <laughs> you know what I mean. He's more. It's different. All right, Noon's complaining about Zelda. Oh shit! Woo! Okay. All right, Noon. Uh, Noon, you want to take this over? I'm gonna go play Mike.
and it's still going. It's the game that never ends. It's Uma. Uh, is the game too now? I, I, I've, I've literally just been rambling. It's probably 1-1. One, one. I couldn't tell you. No, don't, don't. Oh, it's three? Okay, cool. Look, look, I'm not gonna give Jank any ideas. The, the more Jank loses, I am okay with this. But that was a really good ending, actually. Gordo into, like, up air. That was really good. Here, do you wanna take the reins for a bit? Doom plays Lucario. Why do you expect him to be able to play this game? <laughs> but I, I see when I was playing PM back in like 2015, it was like I punch kids and like a bunch of other up and coming Lucarios. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's changed. Noon will combo you to 150 percent and then just SD. <laughs> it's just the funniest thing in the world. How are the endings that stop? Is he usually like an upbeat or something, or what? No, he'll just do something and then somehow die. It doesn't make sense how he dies. It'll be like the weirdest misinput and then just die. He'll combat you to 200 and then just air die. Dodge or I, don't know. I don't know PM anymore. I'm just here for the memes, whatever. Uh, but how are you branching up? Uh, I went 0 and 2. Oh. But I played Jank first round and we did a meme set, so I mean. That was your decision, and you you stand by your penalty. I'll stand by like if you if you take his meme sets, then you deserve to lose. You've already you've already lost. Them. Hey, it was two one. Two one. It wasn't as bad as the hour and a half meme set we played last time I was here. Was that the temple thing? Huh? Was that temple or was that? It was temple, and we were counter picking bad stages. <laughs> it was. Random element, all star, obviously. Yeah, that's and the one. So they did that at Math VR, and they fr they froze the setup like three times. Yeah, we I think we froze this. I think we played like twelve games, and the whole set was us just resetting the Wii. <laughs> it was losers round one, which is the worst part, and we took an hour and a half. And I think we did best of five too. Wow. <laughs> So I think this is what Chris wants to do, is just camp mid and just not go in on what Jank's trying to obviously just gimp him, so. It's a smaller stage and I don't know how he's getting away with all this water. Okay, now he just get randomly in, but still. For the longest he was just waddle dashing back and forth. Oh no, he's going back to it. Okay. Oh? I'm okay with this though, it's aggressive. Could kill here. He gets his last touch? No, there's one more, okay. There we go. Oh, it should be dead, yeah. Jank even it up. Jank could very easily win this. He could, he just has to play it smart. Oh? For a oh. Or looking to grab ledge, I guess. Oh, that's the one. Right. That's what we need. See, Chris sort of has to go in here and try and just get all the percent he can get because. Knee isn't gonna kill, and that might be that might be it. That's it. Yeah. Wow. Let's go, Jang. Okay. So Jang nice. No fist bump either. No. This, this is a. Uh, I mean, Saga already said it. Every once in a while, you just hate, you just hate DDD. <laughs> Your character is despicable. So like, I liked it. It's good stuff. Good job, Jake. That matchup is always fun on either side. No, it doesn't look fun. Yeah, it doesn't look fun. Yeah, 
Yeah. It, it, yeah. You and play die. It very scared, but at the same time, you have like burst aggression. Now we're. Meta Knight. Yeah, no, that's fair. Yeah, I noticed that when you were on ledge, you would just Falco. be scared because. Mm -hmm. Two, one, go. So what kind of play does the Falcon have on the ledge anyway? I mean, you can cover a bit. Or he overshoots and he then he gets grabbed for some other dumb reason, which is well, kind of what happened in the sense. But he's not a patient guy, you notice. Because I realized when he was camping mid and just camping platform, he was I, just able to walk in no, and knee you. be fun but it doesn't really reward you much for going in it like i'm saying like if you're just constantly in the space you're more bound to get grabbed if anything else <laughs> but you're throwing them constantly what is what do i gain Like the game in Watch 9, I understand. But this, no, not really. But then again, like you could. So does this help or hurt your character? I don't know if. I don't know. The, what you're proposing with the Gordos. Okay. At least you're willing to admit that they're kind of cancer. <laughs> the effect. I mean, you're usually spamming them at that point, so I, I get hit, sure, I notice it now. That's about it. Yeah. Pretty much. That is true. I mean, if you do that with EDD, you're doing that with like half the cast. Because, like, I, everyone in this game has like a very good. Mr. Game and Watch. So, like, the S Mass system, but now in a Turner form. What could they, they could also, I mean, they could also make it so, like, Gordo's a different animation, too, or, like, a slower animation. Mm. Yeah. And the knockback growth on them is, like, absolutely insane. 
that benefits DDD at lower percents, but yeah, I, I see what you mean, I guess. Yeah. Even though they pulled the same amount of turnips. I guess, but the, the the point of your item throws is based on Gordo. It's that's just a benefit you get sometimes for playing the item game. Like peaches don't want stitches; they don't gamble on stitches like that. But when they yeah. get them, they will use them in a different sense. You want the Gordo, and that's fine. Because like you camp. Because I think camping ledge with DDD is way better than camping, like camping turnip poles because like you can't really camp turnip poles without no, not really yeah you, you kind of because well. turnip poles is super like risky because it's it's a long animation too plus me as an opponent i'm already knowing like peach has a great walling defense with a turnip i, I want to mitigate that as much as possible yeah that's true so what do you? You're not. You're not. You're not a stronger Peach. <laughs> what? Does the platform regenerate or what? <laughs> I've seen these guys play too many times. I, I I know the story of C Sharp and Cody like the back of my oh okay oh, but at the same time C Sharp has occasional call sets with him. I mean Cody did play uh yeah there it is. Well, never mind. Cody did play uh not Cody uh Doug Freecher did play uh Falco game one. Oh did he? Did he win that game? No, Cody won. Yeah I figured. But it was last time. It used to be to a point where Tony could play like any character and and well. Yeah, Tony can play any character and beat Cody with any character. Now it's like through the years of him just taking him around and playing random places. I think they're a bow. I don't know. I don't think they're neck and neck, but I do feel like he can't really like cheese Cody anymore. Yeah, but he also plays Game and Watch, which is a dumb character. Uh, yeah, for the most part. But he's 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 fundamentally sound. It's just this character has a lot of good strengths. <laughs> Like, yeah, uh, Tony's an incredible player. He's good with a lot of characters, too. And he plays a really good character. Same with Cody. Cody Zelda is insane. You don't think I know this? I've, I've known about Cody Zelda for like five years. He's yeah. like, I used to go to birdhouses and lose <laughs> against Zelda. <laughs> oh. I miss ISU a lot, though. I honestly do miss that in college. Have you been to the events at all or no? No. How long have you been playing for? Um, I've been playing for like a, almost two years now. Who got you into it? Uh, I just have been always, like I watched competitive Smash for a long time and I really enjoyed Project M more than I enjoyed Melee, so. That's fair. Come back to Melee though. <laughs> I'm kidding. I play Roy in this game and I play Marth in the other game, so they're like polar opposites of their threat zones, pretty much. See, I play Marth in both. And then I also am secondarying uh, Sheik now in PM. Uh, yeah, but Marth's better in PM, either. I'd say maybe. I think Sheik's better. Sheik is. Oh, wow. Kills him at 60. I'll be an part of that. I'll be. He seemed too high for that, honestly. Can you turn down the game sound? Too loud for you. 
I'm fine. That's better. Thank you. Why is it not down like that? Oh, okay. Oh. Is this three out of five? I think it's three out of five. What is it like winner semis? This might be semis. I came into this conversation at a weird time. Yeah, it's, this sounds like a lot of mythology. You leaving, Joey? But you won a few games, yeah. Oh, Cody's playing Zelda. Yeah, probably. Oh, I do man. that. <laughs> I thought you were just gonna go with the, the whatever. Oh, oh Zelda? my god. Uh, this is not this is not the move. I, I think Cody just didn't like what Meta Knight was doing for him. I guess. But what makes you think like a familiar character like Zelda is gonna do any better? It's, oh my god. Oh my He went for that. Later bro. Have a good night, Joey. I don't know. They're all idiots. They're all idiots. You know Noon's an idiot. Have you seen the Noon co You, Everybody here has seen the Noon combo. Lucario wins. What? Stop. Mario just seems really fast. I mean, that's usually what. Oh. You have to run into that fist. No, because, no. <laughs> Noon doesn't know. No, the reason Noon thinks Ganon wins. Sean. He has a giant fist, man. Sean. You can't beat the giant fist. The reason Noon. We are. Look, this is more important. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Go on, rage, please. I'll talk to you after, Sean, about this. Yes. Um, that almost kills, but... He just keeps grabbing these fireballs. I'm so proud of it, but Jesus Christ. A press. Oh, okay. Oh, we'll hits him with it. All right, well, that shield Oh, that's going to be a double kill. <laughs> I don't know who would have won that if it was last uh, stock. Yeah. That's what I thought. Really? It looked like Zelda died a little sooner, but whatever. We'll never know. As if I'm going to go into the mechanics of... RKOs. Oh no. Uh, oh god, that scared me. Fight with the air there at this point. I think that's your best bet. Oh, Actually, Cody give... in the lead. A thunder kick should seal it. Or a forward smash. Not Ooh, it almost kills. Can you SDI that? Is that gonna kill? Yeah, yeah. wow. Yeah, you and you were saying it was a bad choice. No, I said go in at that point. <laughs> Why would I reset on this? What character? is happening? What is this set? I don't get the. Okay, whatever. We've had, we've seen four characters and we're about to see a fifth. A Falco to a Meta Knight to a... We got Zelda. Falco, Meta Knight, um, Game & Watch, Meta Knight, uh, and then Game & Watch, Peach, and now we got, or not Peach, Zelda. Yeah. And then Pit, Zelda. 
I don't know. He, he placed it a bit. He has a pit. He has a pit. Yeah, his pit's pretty sick. It's just, I don't know how you... Just, it's just pit is a not... Oh, what? 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 I didn't... Wait. I, uh, um, what? what is happening? I, Was that a mistake? No, it looks like he's no, running with it. He's going to do the, the back throw setups now. I do think this might be... I don't know if this is a better matchup or not. Sheik is really, really fucking okay, good. What so. does Pit have going for him at this point? His half his moves like don't lead to the full, the full hits. Like the up smash, for example, you got like the first two hits and then he's wow. SDI. Crouch though. cancel and a down smash, and yeah. dies for it. All even up. Tony with a little bit of a percent lead. Oh, can Tony flip the pizza? That's the upbeat in my case. Right, I yeah. can see it. Yeah. Oh, gets the chain grab. Ooh, is able to jump out. Just a little slow. Might be going for a tilt, but that's just ambitious thinking. Tries to read him DIing for down smash, or down throw, but... So he just does a high in there and hopes that Tony gets out of, I mean, uh, Tony gets out of shield. Very confusing when both of them end with a Y in their name. Wow. Okay. All right, back throw steals it. But... Oh, you're gonna get a lot of percent here. Yeah, the up smash does not break crash cancel, but still, he's doing it like, a, I don't know, like his game and watch when up back is. Should yeah, be dead? Yeah. Alright, Tony with a little bit of a lead here, but this is a pretty volatile matchup. I think I've played this like once or twice. You have a lot of room to work around with these side B cancels on Battlefield, but like... And I think Cody needs to get a little more needles in, but that's going to seal yeah, it up. That's the peak, that's the peak to flip. Because I realized just how broken needles are after watching uh, Summit last weekend and Plup just destroying everybody with his needles. You mean like on approaches or like just in general? He was doing, he was literally like, I can't describe how good they were. Like, he was edge guarding with them. He was just knowing exactly what people are going to do so he could get the full full needle and just get all the damage and then get it into a chain grab. You've seen this over the years, though. Like, uh, Shroom used to have, like, some of the best, like, needle edge guards with a Sheik. He's a king with, like, raw needle and neutral. And here, I don't know. I guess just for Cody, just having. Having the needles on deck and being able to stifle hits Oh, like. this might. Ooh. If he gets an up air into up B, it should be done. He's gambling on the grabs. And that might oh, that might be it. it. Ooh. Uh, yeah, it's just one. Tony looking. Ooh. And, Co and Tony's like really, really good, really good at playing the patient game. Ooh, power shields. Just tries to end it with that up smash. He's just going to stay back at this point and rack up whatever little damage Oh, he tries has. to do the up out of shield. But Cody uh, was able to snuff it out. It might be too oh, floaty that for might be that he wants. That oh, actually might be and it. He chooses to sit back. Ooh. He wants something. Oh, my God. He wants I feel like that should have been it. This that should be it. That will not be it. Goes too far. Yeah, keep doing Why do I feel like Cody's going to win this? There we are. No. <laughs> Just have to get popped up once. All right. Yeah, there we are. We were all questioning the pit, and then he wins with pit. Okay. I never had a doubt in my mind. I had a doubt in my <laughs> mind. Tony takes it. Very, very close set. Lots of character changes, but that was that was a fun set to watch. Yeah. All right. He's just going off. Even though we were arguing about Lucario Ganon for two minutes. Big Fist? No. No. All right, set's over. No, never mind. Sean, but you want to know why Noon thinks he, Ganon wins the matchup? Noon is an idiot. No, because he'll combo he'll combo Ganon to 180 percent, and then kill himself. Yeah. It's yeah. the Noon combo. Yeah. And he'll do that. What's up? It's a it's a mod. Nair is a good this kill move. Is a good kill but so's back here! <laughs> See, this is the problem. You don't play Lucario. I play Lucario. You 
You don't know me. You don't know my struggle. <laughs> Sean's so mad right now. What? No, this one is though. Hold on, let, let them rage at each other. Noon, I, I cannot begin to comprehend what went wrong in your upbringing <laughs> to make you main Lucario for what is it now? Four years? Five years. Five years of maining Lucario. You still, after every game, show me your L cancel percent being as close to zero <laughs> as possible. And being so happy when you, it is zero. You it, you intentionally try to hit people with Lucario up B to kill them and yourself, <laughs> hoping to get the single hit, just because it's fucking wacky. You went and learned Fromentum, but you don't use it to stay alive and combo them more. You, he, I, I, you, okay, you, you claim that back air is a bad kill move while actively watching other Lucarios in our scene kill people with a zero to death combo that ends with back air. I, Connor, double, double doesn't play anymore. Connor comes, okay, you know what, but they did. They did, and you <laughs> refused. You refused. They re they played for years with you for years. They never with me. They they oh! With <laughs> I play with you at a setup with Connor. I specifically remember this. I <laughs> t t tell him Lucario bears Noon. a good kill move. No, 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 tell him. Tell him. Noon, I have watched you four stock me and Sean many times, but and the then kill yourself no four times and then lose. Yeah, go, go, go. How is that gonna prove anything? You're gonna. Mm. Hey, I'm sorry. Lucario back here is a good kill move. Noon is a fucking idiot. <laughs> good job, Sean. All right. Way to shit on Noon. He has done his part. I encourage this, by the way. This could have gone another five minutes. I wouldn't have minded. We appreciate the ending it because we kind of needed it. What? My ears were getting blared out by oh, Sean yelling. Okay. <laughs> See, I just go to music shows, so Sean's blaring is only as loud as, like, a bass. That's about it, really. I mean, Sean tries his best. He did beat. Sean! You play Octo? No. Play Octo on screen. Oh. Octorok? Oh yeah, I see the Octorok. Never mind. I know. I know. I mean, here. he did beat. He did beat. He did beat Chris. So I mean, I can. I can respect. I can respect him. I got nothing. I. I feel like. I don't know. Was Chris the one seed going into this, or was Tony? Or Cody? Depends who Tony plays today. And Tony's playing his mains, so. Aww. Chris or Tony, I guess. Chris doesn't lose to Tony all the time now. I'll look up the the seeds. See who really got it. Chris was seed two, nice. and Tony was seed one. Yay. Who was seed three? Uh, was it Octo? It might have been Octo. Octo seed three, and Cody's seed four. Huh, okay. That's nice. Uh, let's go Octorock. Yeah, I never want to see Jink win again. No, he's got too much power in his head now. It will go straight to his head, and we don't need that from Jank. I want Jank to go 0-2 from this point. It won't happen. It just won't happen. If Jank wins another match, it will be the worst thing that's happened to Illinois P+. Plus. Oh, my God. Wait, what's going on here? No. Is he doing it? Oh, God, he's doing it. No. Octo, please, you're better Octo, than this. no. Don't do this. Don't do No, no don't do it. <laughs> I already got yelled at for doing it. Oh, no. All right. So the topic of the discussion is partly this match and partly... This is semis. Yeah? 
I've probably been playing this game for like six, seven years, more probably. I know, but just the fact, I love how little Jane cares. Where are they going? Okay, yep. they just went random. Random all-star, though. Oh, Ran double peach! Okay, so I'm in it for the long haul, I guess. Uh, at least until the stock is over. Oh, hits him with the down smash. I don't even want to commentate this. <laughs> no, I, I really... Like, what, what can I say about a peach, though, at this point? There's some random float. Oh, bears. dot eyes. Okay, we got something here. Side B is somewhat okay in this matchup. <laughs> this is just gonna be, it's gonna be float cancel back air and then float back air. It's gonna be the worst thing we've ever seen. No, there's a back throw dash attack. There's occasional bursts of damage. And then we're back to turn up throwing. Jank's just looking for a fair. <laughs> Remember, this is only for a stock, hopefully. Oh. Oh, tries to hit him with the down, down air forward smash. Okay. I don't even know if Golf Club would have killed. He would have won firing, Frying Pan. Back throw. Uh, frying Pan will just send you up and then what? You're just like scouting with an up air? Yeah. Oh. Down smash. Okay, Only like hits a couple times. Evenly matched. Okay, no longer evenly matched. What, pink Was that turnip? a pink turnip? When did they add those? When can you pull pink turnips? <laughs> what? I... Sorry, I only played oh, 3.6. Kills. Kills Ganon with the kills Peach with the fair. All right, now, now we, we got Link, Link Ganon. Ganon. Okay. Ganon wins every matchup, so I think Ganon wins this matchup. <laughs> <laughs> the F tool straight up miss. Okay. See, Ganon just has the float, which is so cool. He has the Mega Bus and some random deck as his BS. He's not playing the Joey way though, so his Ganon is terrible. He's got a wizard kick in neutral. Jake, what are you doing? You did at a point, you did. Oh. Uh, no, he doesn't play Ike. This, this isn't a thing. No, he, all of his Ike knowledge is going to be from Metroid, and that's going to be it. So random side B cancels into reverse aerials. Yes. I've seen twice. It's the only way to play Ike. Yeah, I think Octo's poised to take this game. Because his, his Link's put it in the work. It's like a boss. He's such a slow character, but still. Doesn't even matter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you did this to yourself, Jake. Oh, no. Oh, God. He gets Fox. Okay. I don't even want to know what Jank's Fox is. Uh, I'd be surprised if he get. Oh, oh. He can occasionally jump cancel, and that's about it. Pretty nice wave shines, not going to lie. But get stuck in dash oh. on the right side. Full hop in there. Yeah, this is not a. This is I picked up Fox. Why did you just run? Just run an up smash. He, does, he doesn't know Fox. This is not Fox. <laughs> he tries to go for the side B. Assume a miss input of Shine. Okay, one laser into not. What smash. was that? Could have gone for up air. Uh, this is making me mad. Just play the most basic fox and you'll get somewhere. That's not a basic fox. That's my fox. Jank's dead. <laughs> oh, okay, wait, no. Oh, Octo's uh, dead. Low tier, please. Oh, no, he's so fucked. Yeah, all right. I want some. <laughs> uh. Just think, we have a potential of watching four more games of this. Eight more matchups. Or less, depending on the repeats. No! Oh, no. Fine. He's going Bowser's Castle. Or what? Wait. Oh, okay. This is N64. I'm okay with he this. He got Bowser! <laughs> Octo's just going to camp him with t -Jol. Oh, the pit of... Get in, get in the pit. Get in never the die. The never die pit. They didn't incorporate tornadoes into this ever, did they? I don't know. Probably not. I don't even know what to say anymore. I don't know. Hope, hope for a random aerial, but they'll tech everything, so it's fine. <laughs> okay. Hit <laughs> them with the fireball? Who, whose decision was it to give Bowser a, a fireball? I don't know, and I would like to know who, too, because 
Bowser's too good now. This is winter, winter semis. We are doing winter semis. Look, Octorok agreed to this too. Uh, no, we're still taking things. Okay, that doesn't... He tries to go for the skull badge, he's dead! End your suffering while you still can. No, <laughs> no, we're taking again. Lived. We're taking again. Tex, Tex on Dex. Oh, Jank might be dead. Yeah, no. okay, we're done with this. Let's go, Octo! I'm okay with this. He did the taunt cancels. There. <laughs> Mario Meta Knight. Uh, it's the 90s canon. Has anybody ever seen this matchup? I feel like this actually happened in New York a lot when, when uh, Galo played. Does Galo still play? I don't know. I mean, I don't even know if Swanner has played Cody, and Swanner's the only Mario man I can uh, think of. Like eons ago, because Cody used to show up to ISU stuff. Yeah. I don't know about now. Why is Octo's Mario so good? Uh, I don't know. When you play a character that moves like a like a bar of soap through the air, you're okay with anything at this point. Oh, tries to go for the reverse grab. Fireball beats tornado. Blanks for the for the brief second, I guess. <laughs> I love it so much, but I don't. I hate everything about this. Octo is literally shitting on him, and it's not even funny. Well, that it's, was... it, it, look, it's too late to go back now. You've he got, got Charizard. Oh, tries to go for the fair, the forward, forward smash to just end it. Bounce. Oh, okay, reads the roll. To check roll read. What is, what is Jake doing? Nairing and hoping he jumps in. I mean, this is just DDD without Waddle Dees and Gordos. So. And with, a, with like no real throws. Like a kill throw at best, and that's it. Yeah, but he's gonna go for the cheesy stuff. Cause it's jank. Yes. Okay, what? Oh yeah, he also has side B, but he's not gonna use that. Nah, he's gonna use... <laughs> that wasn't, okay. Look, that first one was an up B, and that was not okay. Oh my God. Oh, might get nothing out of it. What a surprise. This isn't a Mars. You don't have to down tilt. Oh my god. What is he doing? Just go up throw. I actually don't know if up throw would kill. Uh, this stage might have a higher ceiling than I would expect, so maybe not. <laughs> now probably, yes. <laughs> We're getting somewhere. Uh-oh. Let's go, Roy. I'm okay with this. Just throw him off stage. Oh my god! That doesn't work. That doesn't work. That doesn't. That, that works. That's all he has. Oh, back throw? Or down throw again? Down, down throw. Oh smash. my god. I don't know what to say if Jank takes the, takes the stock with this, with Charizard. All Roy knows how to do is eat, sleep, and F smash. And up air every now and then. So close for up you. Oh my god! That won't kill with a strong hit, but it's whatever. Tries to go for the jank of the forward smash. He doesn't have a kill throw. Well, they, he does, but he, it's up throw, but. Yeah, and that's the thing. <laughs> he was in the, the scary spot. It's so. all forward or upward direction. Both jank is at 250%. Why is this a thing? Hancock him. No! Oh my god! Grab him! Grab. Oh, is that forward tilt gonna kill? No. No. Yeah, yeah that's gonna, gonna kill. I'm surprised Jank took that. Ganon! Ganon does not. All he has to do is touch him. I even think Jab will kill. You're right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there we go. Oh, uh, hearing Jank's scream shit made me happy. Mega bus. It's him for the 5%. He doesn't have a Samus. He doesn't have a Samus. No, Jank doesn't have anything. I want to give him more credit. He has DDD. Get me wrong, I love Jank. But I will constantly shit on him because it's funny. He goes along with it, which makes it all the better. Because I know Jank will shit on me, which is what is important. I mean, have you seen him when he's angry? Yeah, I just saw him arguing with Noon. 
Yes, you you did this to yourself. Okay, Octo, please win. We all are cheering for you. West Coast DI for the love of God, Jank. Oh not, my God, the, that's the he won. <laughs> No! I don't get picked. Uh. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Yes! yes. yes. Woo! <laughs> Small stage, please. Anything. I'll kill you, Jake. I'll kill you. Jen could make it to finals, winner's finals, which is the stupidest thing in the world. I don't want to live in a world where <laughs> Jen makes it to winner's if finals. If you think of it, this is the perfect plan because he actually made this two out of three with legit character. Oh my god, Octo is just going to shit up. <laughs> just no. a random Gordo. Is he dead? No! Yeah. <laughs> Big brain plays. Big brain moments. Brought to you by Arby's. Oh, he's dead. Oh, never mind. Oh my god. I don't even know what to say anymore. Uh, more wildies than there. Dead? Wow. Even the bad DI. No, he did it a bit too early. Getting constantly hit off stage was there's just that, that kill. You just need that kill. Oh god. No. Oh my god. Okay. Let's go, Octo! I think everybody in the world is cheering for Octo right now. Well, any other... Oh, is he Woo! dead? Woo! 40%. Pop the rock, you're my hero! Such a nice little up tap. Yes. This is what we want. <laughs> just tries to end it all. I would have gone for the third dare and just called it a day. Like, whatever. Just a suicide dare? Yeah, no. I mean, what are you going to do? That's true. And you're also up a stock. Oh my god. I thought that was going to kill. Nice air dodge, honestly. Straight into him. Wasn't expecting that at all. Has to go high. And gets a couple of that for that. <laughs> what random board will give him for like half the stage? Hey, you want center stage? Here's a Gordo. She might be dead. No, it's got a little survival DI. Now he's dead. Evens it up, but jank down a lot of percent. As long as you can stay alive for another few percent, I'm okay with this decision. Uh, but Not. no, he just gets caught by side B instead. Is he even going to get much of these entails even if he does manage to get one? No, not anymore. I think he wanted to go for it when he was at his high percentage last stock, so he could just get a reset and maybe win the game. I mean, he's voting enough to get you hits off an S, but at this point, I think he's... I mean, just throw him off is like, no, no, Jank, don't do it. Yeah, he's just going to get yeeted. All right, there we go. Should be it, honestly. Uh, no, he jumps. Probably meant to back air there instead. I mean, it's a free 10% from the inhale, so... I guess, but it's not really going to lead to anything besides, like, a, a promising wish for a nice guard. That should be it. Yeah. No. Oh, wow. Nice DI. Heavy character. Oh. That would have been it. <laughs> nah, that's game. All right, 2-1 Octo. Actually, <laughs> Octo got the free game, so it's 3-1. Octo wins. Yeah, of course. Uh, no, but not really. I wish so. I don't know where they're going to go. Uh, Small stage? Or, well, no, he's banning right now. Okay, yeah. Goodbye, that. Goodbye. Maybe FOD? Or Green yeah. Hill? Oh yeah, you're a band Delfino. Three, two, one, go! Yeah, you can say Gordo just start off too. I can say Gordo like every five minutes and probably get away with commentary. 
Mario. This matchup seems like another. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. What? This matchup does not seem fun for anyone. Again, like any matchup with DDD. Uh, I've seen it from the opposite end. My roommate used to play with Ripple sometimes. And he would just constantly get up thrown juggled for days. Uh, Jay Gordo. doesn't really play for the combo. He plays more for, for the, the Yeah, more for the combo. Well, not, not more for the Gordo and two occasional like aerials. Uh, we turned it down a little bit. Is it too quite on your side? The game sound does sound a little weird. It sounds like super like boosted for some reason. It's a very deep ride stream, I guess. It's almost blown out for you. All right, well, All right. can't really tell you anything there. Jack doesn't know anything. We don't know anything. I... Wow. Okay. Wow, I thought that was going to kill. We're just saying through the grass. Just, you know, low fi streams, deep ride for all your amusement and calories. All right, uh, I don't really know what Jank wants at low percent, to be honest. Probably just waiting for Gordos. Yeah, but if you notice, he's playing the ledge game a lot. And since he's not invincible, Octorox is getting free hits. That's been a lot of just like actual ledge guards. Oh. Catching the ledge show. I thought he was going to go for the inhale to try and just reset things. But I think, like, what we saw with uh, Chris versus Jank, it was a lot different because, like, Ness can just stop all of the Waddle Dees and Waddle Doos with PK Fire, so... And Captain Falcon can't really do anything to prevent Jank throwing the Waddle Dees. Yeah, no, uh... Besides just running in knee every now and then, but it's super unsafe. Well, that's the difference. There was, like, four or five DDDs on stage during Chris's match, and here, yeah, as you mentioned, it kills a lot. Also, he just waits a lot, and that usually ends up with the Waddle Dees just expiring. Ooh. Instead of going for the re-grab, goes for the down smash. Tries to hit him with the fair, but just barely misses. A little too slow. Don't think that's going to kill. No, it's the angle. Green Hill has a super high... Super high ceiling. Can't really stop that's going to kill. That. The edges are super close on Green Hill. Jank trying to eat the fire. All he can do is just push back with these. these I think Jank's playing this actually pretty well. Yeah, but again, for, he's just. But I think, I think Ness just shits on DDD. But I, I could see. I actually don't know. But. Eats a Waddle D, gets the stun out of it, so it gets a free hit for Octo. We can get more out of the punish. Like he's getting like one or two hits, and then it's just. Right he gets back the shield off. poke with the PK fire too. And Gordo just destroys Waddle D. I think air camping might be a better job than just, might be doing a better job than uh, camping in the the ledge. Yeah, but I guess he just feels the safest on ledge, so he'll just continue to go to that. It is jank. That's gonna be it. But one time he's actually a bit too ambitious with his All right, starting. even game, 0-0. Zero, zero. Is the set going to be over and we're going to be happy, or is Jank going to win? Ooh, gets, uh, the, gets yeah. a lot of, going to get a lot of damage out of this. Ooh. All right, even percent, even though Jank hit him twice. It is an exploitable thing, but the thing is it, it works often enough that Sean will mix it up. Or not and like, like we're talking shit on Sean, but Sean is actually a super good player. So yeah, no, I'm just saying, he, like his game plan is strong. So when it does, Ooh. the that last jump wasn't enough, just barely low enough. I think he's trying to get another Gordo because it will kill Ness at like five percent. Oh, gets the turnaround. Oh, he did not want that at all. 
technical error. Oh, but he still gets the Gordo. Kind of <laughs> Gordo kind of saves him there because it scares Octo into approaching. Because he would he would die if he got hit by that. Man back. I right, go for the. Might be it. Go for the guaranteed nice. Guaranteed kill. Oh, that was super close. Good stuff to Arc. Octo and good stuff to Jank. Jank kept that real close. Right. Get a second run of losers. They're not quite done yet. And we got Tony Octo winners finals. Jank moves on to losers. And my boy Tony plays Octo Rock. Also a, a classic match as well. I've been playing this forever. This is going to be exciting. Uh, you joke with that. <laughs> Sean should never touch a fox. Auto beats Falcon. Yeah. Yeah. No, that, that is true. If Sean ever picks up fox, it will be the day we all cry because we don't have a DDD anymore. Cry. What what do we want a DDD for? We need at least one for Jank. And then Jank's gonna meme on us with Fox. I'm okay with this. I can play Roy and Fox. I mean, it's Roy gonna be 300 percent, and then Fox, uh, Jank's will shine you no matter what he wants to do. <laughs> it's like a chess game with them. You do your move and you just wait for them to react. All right, starting off on Green Hill. Uh -oh. Tony going ICs. I did play his ICs earlier and they shit on me, but I'm not good, so. And it was Sheik, so. Yeah, that. Uh -oh. I honestly think that's what Octo wants to do is just spam back air and just never let him in because they don't really have that much range. No, That's a yeah. dead Nana, too. I mean, Tony's going to go for a lot of ambitious grabs, but it's already too late for him to get anything worthwhile. That's the backer. There might. That should be it. Oh, no. wow. Man, Hits him with the fade away. back. And Popo can do actually a lot of stuff as a Sopo. Yeah, she's still just pretty mobile, so it... Um, considering they're both kind of stubby-footed people, back to throw. Face -to -face. Yeah, but that's kill. still gross. I forgot. Is it Nana or Popo who's the leader on the red color? Uh, I think Nana leads, but that's gonna seal it. They're just one synchronous unit to me. Now we're gonna try and look. Yeah, I think Nana is the red one, which is who you're controlling. really going for the grab, but when I look at it now, it's more just trying to fight him in the air there. Oh, wow. Well, that's going to be a dead Nana, but... Or not? No. Nana's actually a smart AI now. Yeah, oh, she can ledge. DI? She can jump the ledge better. Or she tries to recover, rather. Oh, Tony saves him. All right, that's going to be a dead Nana. Now it's just so po. Back throw? Yeah. It's Not going to kill, though. Uh, would you cover ledge or that better? Than... Ooh, wow. <laughs> that was crispy. You'll get shot on the losers. Don't worry. Gets a lot of free percent from the PK fire. Oh, well, that. Wow. Man, Nana. This time. Saying Nana was a smart AI ruined Tony. Smart with moments of not so smart. And it's with the back air to stuff the combo. But Zopo can actually do a lot off down throw because it's a lot of reads that he can do and just reading what your DI is. Because if you DI in, it could just be a chain grab. Yeah, but how are you going to get in against Octorok is the question, though. He's just content to play with straight aerial, be mostly back air. And he's just doing double jump cancels so he can get the backers out insanely fast. Yeah. But 
if you do it too close, I guess you get shield grab. So that's the one upside. But the problem is, is that Ness is fast and has good range because he can just weave in and out, and Popo doesn't have range at all. Forward throw? Back throw? No, back throw. Won't kill. Won't kill. Up to the end of the stage. Tries hit him with the pulse. Does not work. I think, he's being like I think back throw will kill from pretty much anywhere on the stage. Ooh, forward throw, or forward air. Smash. Forward smash. <laughs> that will kill. Go. That's going to kill. No. Not that strong, surprisingly enough. That, Th that will kill. I think that's true, depending on DI. Yeah, but I think it's still a meteor, but at that point, it's kind of a high percent move, anyways. Is that time to the meteor cancel? Back throw, that's gonna kill. Yeah. I'd be, that'd be like the best DI ever in the world to just grace the earth if that happened, if he lived that. For all DI? Okay. All the SDI in the world would not save you there. I don't even think you can SDI, can you SDI grass? Uh, no, I think it's just standard DI. I think, I don't know. Again, I don't play this game. Nana takes a lot of damage. Really? Oh, oh okay. Dang. That's gonna be it. Yeah. Arcto takes it like more than angle. Game one. Tony gonna switch. It looks like. Probably Game and watch. Or what? What? Yeah. No. He. You gotta remember. He plays every character in his game. I point. know. It's just weird. It is. But Ivysaur. I feel like keeps it even against Ness. I might be wrong about that entirely. Ivy does have the range, so but Ivy's very slow. I don't know what she'll be able to do against Ness. He won't go in this much since he's not playing Ivy anymore. It's like range character versus character with back and stuff. That's what's gonna be able to help Tony a lot is that down tilt and grab. They're both insanely good. Down tilt is extremely fast and can just do rack on the damage. And it's su it reaches super far, so. Yeah, that's what I figured. Uh, plus, Ivy Sword has a pretty easy time recovering with the tether to ledge as well. That'd be a lot more head on. Oh, okay, Ooh. that was never collected. All right, I was doubting the Ivy pick, but this might be looking better than I thought it was gonna. Tony's got the lead right now, and the percentage lead. Going for a random up the fine whip. But I guess he's keeping him in check there. Tries to hit him with a down tilt, trying to call him in and approaching, but just barely misses. Yeah, so the board, though. Oh. I'm surprised he didn't go for like an up air to try and kill. That's gonna kill. Backer's super strong. Got him on the random jump from the ledge. I just go for the down tilt to just rack up that percent and just kind of stun him out. Back, down throw, reflects it. I'm lucky after I was able to react to that because usually that's the Oh, thing. wow. Or... There, that's going to seal it up. Gets the read. Tries to hit him with the PK fire. Did he nair out of that? That's crazy. Oh, wow. Have the range there to Calls him out with that down air and just spikes him. If Tony loses this game, do you think he's going to switch again? Uh, maybe, or... It's, e it's equally possible he just stays with him and plays a little more serious. I think it depends how it goes. If it's like a two stock, I think Tony's gonna switch and maybe go game and watch. But I do not know. It's a pretty decent game plan versus Opdrop. He's just ending up getting randomly aerial oh, in there. Oh, down throw. Be, yeah. Done. Solar Beam nerfed a little bit in P, but it still hits insanely hard. 
you just usually go for it like at the end of a high percent combo so i don't think it hurts him that much still keep managing to get the same uh Ooh, that's gonna be it all right we are going last stock situation for tony and ivy does not have solar beam so at a serious disadvantage but i could see him being able to get it if he gets the right moves and like up air and down air he'll be able to do it i also think he might want to do more up throws if he really needs it but i don't super see tony being able to take this game no it's oh, him with the pulse wow yeah do you think he's gonna switch yes i do not think this, this is gonna be a winning character but who knows no he's not switch off marth uh he's gonna go no, he's yep. gonna go watch Game and watch. Guess it was All right, we are to Tony's main now. I think Octo should ban. Yeah. All right, we are back to Metal Cat. Yeah. yeah. Now we have more reliable throw setups, and that gets so comboed by Game and Watch. Oh wow! Tries to read him turning with the neutral get up, but see, I think this is what Tony should have done from the start, because I mean it's just yeah. But Tony's the type of player to just like have fun with All the right, game. He's done. So why not? I agree, but oh, like just the, on that the damage is just crazy. Oh wow! Is that done? Wow. <laughs> Game and Watch so light. <laughs> Manages to claim through the PK fire, but still doesn't matter. Gets the gravity nair. Ooh, nice. Being nair. able to go to that le uh, the platform and not being able to get hit by it. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Bears through the recovery. Proving again that Ness has a very uh, not good recovery sometimes. Oh wow, the shield poke on the up air. That double is just so intimidating. You have to get out of there. Oh my god. This is turning into a runaway for Tony. But Ness is a very volatile character, so he can just rack up percent insanely quick and just being able to take it just like that. Yeah. Gets a kill at 74%. And Game & Watch is one of the lightest characters in the game too, so... I guess so, but like again, he took like two stocks on answer. Only now is he. That's uh, gonna be it. Yep, that's it. But Ness is super light as well, so. All right, that's gonna be two one. Octos. Tony takes that game. Where does he go? He's going to a. He's gonna really? go Dreamland. I guess. Octorot wants survivability too. Can't really. Yeah, he was dying. He died. I don't think he lived up to 100% that game, so. It would make sense for him to go here. Now he's actually wave dashing back against those down airs, not getting caught up by those two hits. And I think down tilt just really destroys Ness because he just can't do anything about it. Because I think everything with down tilt outranges what Ness has. Yeah, I don't think Ness plays the ground game necessarily, but for the few moments he does land, you don't want to be in the middle of a Game & Watch down tilt. Yeah, because Game & Watch's down tilt is just super, super good, and the hitbox is just crazy big, so... I I even think it might outrange back air because of just how big the hitbox is above Game and Watch. Uh, Plays a little hesitant there. Not sure we're gonna get up for a kill though. All right, yeah. Down throw. Right trying to get the back air. Yeah, I definitely Ooh. like how much more mobile out rocket this game. Should be dead. Yep. All right, four. It's gonna be a stock taken. I guess these platforms also help uh, off the rock. Oh, wow, that lasting hitbox on the forward smash. Help him to maneuver around, so he's not going to be Forder so Forward that should. Oh, wow. Nice survival DI. That's going to oh, be it. I'm surprised that didn't hit Game & Watch. It looked like he was inside of him. It's like the end part of that hitbox. So it's just the animation. Tries to just end it again. Trying to go for the double downer, the double dip. I don't think that's a true setup though. Back air, that's gonna hurt real bad and just send him off stage pretty a lot. Alright, 
Mannequin. All right, we're, I think we're going to see Octo camping with down some, uh, back air again. Back throw, shh. Not going to steal it. Bigger stage. We'll manage to get these kill setups. Just going to have to fight them on raw back airs. Oh my god, that was almost insane. That was crazy. I think back throw from edge will kill now. Ooh, Tony messes up the ledge oh, dash. I, that ledge dash. I mean, he had the percent lead anyway, but still. Yeah, he was at high percent, so it doesn't lose much, but like, you could kill. Game of Watch is volatile, so you could have killed him even then. Did he the steal the deal? No, he's just gonna. Is him with the Nair? Just knocks him off stage, but not being able to connect that forward smash. Tony reading that roll, but not being able to do anything with it. No. Hits him with the up air, trying to keep him in the air a little bit. Tries to read him coming down with that forward air, but not really able to do much with it. Dr. Rock finally catching on Tony's approaches. Should be. Oh, wow, the Nair just barely misses. That hitbox is deceptively huge, so. Just nicks him with that forward with Ford yeah, but should be able to live. I mean, Osham was legend. He still managed to get it, nonetheless. Wow, Octo has not taken much percent from the stock that Tony has had. Back air, not going to steal it just yet. Does hit very hard. They can rack over as much percent as they Yo -yo. want. Yo-Yo. still have to get the kill in the end. Uh, nope. Still live not it. being able to do it yet. But back throw will kill from ledge, so I th I think that might be what Octo is looking for. Either that or a straight back air. Gonna run away more. Gets hit by the weak bear. Ooh, just barely isn't able to connect on that. I think Tony was a little scared of the fourth. Not Back throw, not going to kill. Yeah. Barely not able After to get it. wouldn't have done anything either. It would have been the same situation. Wow, that forward tilt almost kills as well. Too weak, though. No. Oh, he didn't have his jump. Octo looking poised to take this, but as I say that, gets hit with a fair. Combo. Uh, oh wow, Tony Barry getting able to jump out of that. Has to wait for the tech roll read though. Gets away for, with a free roll. Just dashing around him and just able to. Feels like Octorok is just doing whatever he wants because he can just. He's controlling the pace of this game really hard. He's ranking up what little percent he gets, can get here and there, and as long as he keeps this lead, at least the one-stock lead, he's okay with that. Yeah, Arto's not really comboing hard. He's just getting, like, really good stray hits and just gets the random nine. No, oh, that's a result of Rockcraft being the lead. He's approaching more. Oh, wow. This might be Tony's Avenue. Oh, well. Back air not going to kill just yet. Back air almost hits on that upbeat to the ledge. Still not going to kill. Oh, wow. Manages to clip him there. Oh, my God. That was a nice shield drop. Oh, that not going to kill just yet. But back throw will kill from, I believe, anywhere on the stage right now. Yeah, now he's playing really, really cautious. Doing, doing this. And back, and back air is going to kill as well. So He's got so many of these weak fans. Normally these would be... Oh, just tries to hit him with that Nair. That's going to yeah. seal it. Octo takes it. Octo played that really, really well on Dreamland. Yeah, I think it was just the, the size of the stage that really helped him. He was able to weave around platforms a lot more, which meant that Tony couldn't get as many grabs as he wanted. Because uh, on the Metal Cavern match, for example, he got like down throw setups all the time at the random F smash. Yeah. And that kind of worked in his favor there. And I think that's might be really what we want from like seeing like Tony not being able to get those grabs because he is so good off of grab. Alright, I don't know who we're gonna get next, well, but okay, Akko so is in grands. Jank is still in bracket, so you still have to do one of those matches if you want to. If Jank plays on stream again, I'm leaving. You might not, yeah, you might actually. Let's right. see what the bracket is right now. So we got Jank and Knave. Uh, Chris, or Cody beat Chris. Really? Oh, wow.
So we got Cody in semis waiting for the winner of Jank and Knave. Uh, then Tony in losers finals. And then Octo sitting pretty in grands. Nice. See, I'll learn a little bit in Spanish. Don't make yourself so, so smart, my friend. <laughs> we probably will get Jank and Knave on stream if they're not playing right now. Oh, they are playing right oh, now. Oh, thank God. All right, I'm going to see their match. I'm hopping off. All right. I cannot see it well enough to commentate it. Jank takes the set. Now we get to see Cody and Jank. Four semis. Probably gonna get Meta Knight DDD is my guess. I could see him I could see Cody going Zelda though. Jank playing real well tonight, though. Taking sets off of Chris. Now Nave. But let's see if he can continue his streak and beat Cody. Zelda. Cody is going to go Zelda. I bet Jank's trying to convince him to play a dumb meme match, but Cody ain't going to have any of that. Start off on Stadium. I really think Cenk was trying to convince Cody to play a meme match. Starting off game one. Jank going straight to that ledge. Is the up throw up airs? It's a little bit of percent, not too much though. Oh, gets a Gordo. Just barely misses Zelda though. That was probably a miss input. Hits him with the Waddle Do. Back throw into try and trapping him on ledge, but not gonna get much out of it. Um, I think Zelda is a really good character against DDD just because of everything she can do and just out camp DDD, even though it sounds weird, because he she has better options to trap him on ledge. Even though that's where DDD wants to be, he can she can just trap him and rack up lots of damage and kill him off of it. Doesn't get the strong hit of fair. Tries to hit him with the That's gonna kill though with the up B. Jenk laughing, shaking his head. Cody laughing at what Jenk said. 
Hits him with the gulp. Doesn't get much out of it, but is able to get that free 10%. Back throw, not gonna kill. Hits him with the back air, trying to... Oh god. And then gets another gulp, but doesn't get much out of it. DDD saves... Or Wallaby saves DDD with the from the Thunder Kick. I think DDD got or Wallaby got hit with the hard hit and DDD got hit with the soft hit. Back throw still not gonna kill. It's super close though. I think the next one's gonna kill. That should be it. Almost lives it actually. But evens it up. Tries to hit Jank approaching with the up smash, but flubs by both players. I don't even know what happened there. Tries to waddle dash in, forward air, not gonna kill, almost kills though. Thinks he's gonna go to ledge, but doesn't. Try to shark him with the up air. Jank playing this pretty much just how he wants to. That should kill, yeah. Kills off the top. Zelda not the heaviest character in the game and a pretty light character. But Jank is super controlling the pace of this game, which is what you don't want Jank to do. Jank really... Re wow. Forward throw, forward, or forward air. Almost kills, actually. Tries to approach him with the up and gets a grab, but Jank able to mash out as hard as he can. Trying to hit him with Waddle Dee's. Not really going to get much out of it. Gets back to center stage. Tries to hit him with the back air, but just barely misses and hits a Waddle Dee instead. Hit him with tons of Waddle Dee's. Ooh, that's going to seal it. Yep, even stocks again. Jank with a little bit of a percent lead. But Jank's going to go straight back to ledge. Hey, Tony. Hits him with... Waddle Dee's. Ooh, wow. Almost kills with the down B. And that's gonna kill. Jank, up 2 1. Tries to hit him with the Gordo, but Cody reflects it. Disappears before Jank could get hit by it. Jank going back to his home. Gulps. Is he gonna get anything out? Gets a couple forward airs. Tries to hit him with the random dash attack. I don't think that was intentional. Hits him with a couple nares. Trying to hit him with a couple Waddle Dees, but not really able to get it. Hits, gets a Waddle Dew out. What's that Waddle Dew gonna do? Not much. Kills him with the up air. Cody in a slight lead. Or janking a slight lead, but let's see what Cody can do to try and win. Skins him with the Nair. Able to perfect shield that out. Back air. Gonna hit hard, but not. Just gonna knock him off stage. Wally knocks him off stage is two. Jank going back to his home. Hits him with the forward air that might. Not gonna kill. Just barely not gonna kill. Gets hit with the up B, so Jank isn't able to punish. Backer gonna seal it. Jank goes up 1 0. Instantly goes Meta Knight. Not really super surprising. I was expecting him to go Meta Knight at the beginning, but Cody's a much better player than I am, so maybe he knows better. Alright, let's see how much this changes. I think Cody's gonna try and control the pace of this match because he's playing Meta Knight, a much faster character than Zelda, so hopefully Cody's able to do what he wants and being able to take another take a game off of Jank. Jank taking him to Metal Cavern. Or Cody taking him to Metal Cavern. Let's see. Jank instantly goes to ledge. Down there, what's he gonna get out of this? Double spot dodge into other player double spot dodge in the grab. Hits him with a couple grabs. Down smash. Not gonna get much out of it. Hits him with a couple jabs. 
Waddle do on stage. Cody knocks it off. Hits him with a couple jabs. Not really gonna do much. Down air. Gonna head into a couple up airs. Gordo on stage, but not gonna be able to do anything. Jank hits him with the Waddle D. Barely misses that back air. Hits him with the gulp. Is he gonna get out of this? Not really super sure. I think that was supposed to be a runoff fair. Not gonna kill, but gets him off stage. Gets Cody in a better position. Now we're just in Jenks home and Cody seeing, oh wow, just barely misses. Down throw. Barely misses it with that forward tilt. But, let's see. Oh, wow. Nice recovery by Cody there to be able to get on stage again. Cody taking the lead, but Cody is at a very, very high percent. Cody getting the crazy combo. I don't think Jank has any jumps right now. But gets back on stage, gets back all of his jumps. Wow, the reaction time by Cody to be able to stop that Gordo and just not die. It's with a Nair approaching, trying to approach with the fair. The double, the three rolls, back throw, gonna kill. Evens the stock count, but Jank at a deficit with the percentage. Cody just trying to hit him with that down B. Shuttle loop, not gonna do much. Back throw. Or back air gonna hit pretty hard, but hits him with the gulp in out of the down beat. I think Jenk's gonna try and just get a cheesy kill right here as the best of his ability. Cody approaches with the nair trying to get the kill. Trying to wallow dash in, but not really able to get much out of it. Gets another gulp off stage. Hits him with the fair. But gets a side B back on stage. Jank off stage in not a favorable position. Gordo almost hits Cody. I don't know where that would have sent him or what that would have done, but. Down throw, not gonna be able to do much. Oh, with the footstool. Ooh, wow. Low percentage death, more of an SD than anything. Hits him with all the up airs in the world. Down air, gonna hit pretty hard, but not. Tries hit him with the down tilt out of the down throw. Tries to waddle dash into something. I'm not entirely sure what. Hits him with the down air while he's trying to inhale. Waddle do is gonna make things a little difficult, but Cody just knocks it right off stage. Down air, down throw. Down smash, gonna kill. It's with the down throw. Gonna try and read it, but gets him with the down tilt. Back throw, just to get him off stage. Wow, I, that was crazy. It's with the down throw again. Racking up a lot of percentage here. Jink really needs to close out this stack soon if he wants to take this game. Hits him with the forward air. Not gonna be able to get much out of it. Jank has center stage though. Rolls away. Cody reading that Jank was going for that forward tilt. Up throw to down B. Waddle Dude hits him, but not really, Jank's not able to get anything out of it. Cody really dictating the pace of this game and just letting, not letting Jake do what he wants. So, tries to hit him with down smash, not gonna connect, but back air does connect. And that's gonna be game two, is 1-1. One, one. Probably gonna go.
think taking the time to relax and think over his decision. Yep, going green hill. Oh my god, they just instantly go for it off stage. Wow. Jane gets the early percentage kill. Does Cody get the early percentage kill off DDD? No. No, not really able to do it. I think Jane tried to go for an inhale there. Just barely saw that animation. Up throw into Cape. Gonna get good damage, but not enough to kill. Forward air. We'll grab ledge and just seal that stock up. Oh my god, Jink almost just died at 0%. Hit someone with down air, back air. That's gonna be it again. Another low percentage kill. Cody's really fighting Jank off stage. And it's really surprising. I think Cody just wants to seal these two games and just make it go a lot quicker. It's downhill to get him back on the ledge. Down air, doesn't get much off it. Hits him with a jab, up throw, up smash. Up throw, cape. Not gonna kill just yet though. Put some wall the wall going back to the ledge. Some with the back air, get some off stage. Hit some with the cape, but that's gonna kill. Nice recovery option from Cody there to just get the kill. Tries him with the down air, but just barely misses. Back throw, not gonna back throw does kill. Wow. Jank surprised by that one. Gets free 10% from... Oh my god. Jank takes game three. Cody might switch. I don't think he should. I honestly think he should stay Meta Knight. Zelda. He's gonna go back to Zelda. He did lose game one with Zelda, but I'm not sure where Cody's going to go. Fans, Wario Land and FOD. Go smash. Jank just instantly going back home. Wow. Cody already playing this match a lot faster than he did game one. Inhale barely doesn't connect. Some of the dash tag. Up throw. Up air. Not going to get anything else out of that. Jank rolling to ledge. Thunder kick, not gonna kill. Jank hitting that upbeat button real early. Down air gets a good amount of percent, but that shouldn't seal it yet. back home trying to see what he can do against the Zelda. Cody looking dominant that first stock though. Back air, get some attack today. Try to hit him with the forward tilt but just misses. Some of bottle B, try to wall dash in. Forward tilt, not gonna connect. Order. Gonna connect. Trying to hit him with the up smash, but not gonna get much out of that. Besides up punish from 30. 
Corner, gonna kill. Oh, we got even stocks yet again. The set has been super, super close. It's a 9% from Jank trying to go to the ledge. Gordo is out. Gets the wow. Gets him with a Thunder Kick trying to call out his approach. Thunder Kick gonna kill. Cody with a good lead right here. Um, forward, forward tilt and then forward air. Jank rolling to legend yet again. Gets him with forward air. Not gonna get much out of it. The Waddle D just barely nicks him. Gordo on stage, off stage, I guess. Tries to hit read him with the down smash. Oh. Cody SDs. I think he was trying to go to ledge. Cody thinking about an SD. Just getting all kinds of damage. Oh my god. Cody doing the right thing and blowing up the balloon. Wow. Cody with a zero to death. Jank just hit him with a couple jabs. Trying to see what he can do. But Cody just looking so dominant. With a jab combo, but only the last hit. Jank just going back to ledge, but I think Jank's gonna try and go in and just try and get the kill. He really needs this kill because I don't think he can really do much right now. Might seal it. Yeah. Cody takes game four. We're going to game five. Cody just looking absolutely dominant though. Probably. I'm not sure where we're gonna go. Yeah, I can't go back to Green Hill, so. I could see Jank going. FOD or Delfino, maybe. I think really thinking about it. When you go Stadium 2. two Alright, this is game five. This is loser semis. The winner of this, of this goes to fight Tony in losers finals. Tries him with the forward tilt. Doesn't Cody able to get that shield up in time? Up throw. Not gonna get anything out of it though. Jank just going right to ledge again. And with the up throw again, I think he's trying to get a, a quick jump up air, but it not getting the jump out. Oh, almost hits him with the forward smash. That definitely would have killed. Forward air, not gonna kill just yet. Trying to go all the way out there and get him with the forward air again though to try and get that seal the deal. Jank just going right back to the ledge. Hits him with a dash attack, not able to get much out of it. Waddle dashes in, hits him with the forward air, not gonna kill. Oh wow, nicks him with the up B, I thought that was gonna be a gimp. Gordo is gonna kill though. Gordo's so dangerous. That's the first Gordo kill we've seen in this set actually. Side B. Just gets him away from that ledge. Inhale, gonna get that free 10%, not much else. Tries to end it all. Gonna get another inhale. Forward air, forward air. Gonna try and get in. Wow. Jank was trying to go to ledge and up he hit him and was able to get a combo in the thunder kick. Jank going back to ledge.
even game. Game five is what you want to see. Wow, that Gordo doing everything in his power did not. Hits him with the back air. Gets him in the center stage. Try to with you up smash four, still is gonna connect super long range on that. Trying to gonna try and shark him with an up air, but isn't able to. Jink, zoom in the ledge, because he saw that side be coming. Oh, the Gordo again. Cody with the reactions. I am I'm joining. I am here. Hello. How's it going? It's going great. Uh, Except this is game five, and this is not what I want to see. What do you want to see? I wanted to see Cody see win 3-0. I remember I heard you saying you want Sean to go to earlier. Yeah, after he After he lost. did the fucking uh, yeah. special versus shit. Sean is kind of going on a tear today. He's doing very good. To give him some credit. It is game five, too. Ooh, that's going to kill, too. Oh, no, wow. No, no. Just barely. <laughs> wow. That just took some fucking... I think he was like, well, I'm at 149, so... I mean, if I if I if he just edge guards me, then fuck it. But if he yeah. takes ledge, it's huge. How we doing? I'm doing all right, Obla. Ooh, bo ooh, boa, Nick. Up air gonna, not gonna kill. Good di from Sean. Wow, this this is so close. They're both at kill percent. There's only. What? It's been f we're like halfway through. This is going to go to time, though. It's the kill with the up there. I can definitely see this going to time. <laughs> oh, it's going to go to like 10 sec, like, like 5, 4, you know what I mean? And they're both staying on that angel platform. But he's getting empty. It's actually not that late. It's only like 11.30. Oh, hits him with the inhale. Oh, no. SD's at 15%. Oh, yeah. I don't think it's going to go time that anymore. <laughs> Neither do I. That changes, that changes a lot of things. Uh, yeah. Cody's totally, definitely. Cody's still in it. It's a good, uh, it's a count as a tick grab. <laughs> do, we, do we count that? You know what? For Cody's sake, we'll I, we've count. argued about, like, what a tick grab actually is, and I'm always wrong. Oh! Oh my God! I can't believe I'm so active. He got another, got another dude. Gordo. Come on, man! Wow, Cody bringing it back to even, even after that SD. Back. Oh, it's heads him good. out of the uppy with an air. But it's even again. Ooh. That was two up smashes in this right back. They're literally like trading like percent. They're just. This is this is the definition of a slobber knocker. I like it. Oh! Wow. Yeah, you, I mean. Ooh, that was a great cover. throw. Puts the dins in the ground. Up B to cover. And, and confirm. Calls back dins. Dins gonna be on the ledge again, but. Dins gets a little bit of percent. Oh, is that gonna. Oh, wow. wow. Good God. That was a crazy set. Zelda. Cody goes for the handshake. Straight up. Sean not knowing what to do. Sean not happy about that. Close up. Really, really close. Good stuff to Sean though for keeping it that close. Yeah. That was uh that was a tight ass set. Meta Knight. And Sean goes right to the friendlies. Gotta love him. Probably gonna try and play all-star random no, with he's noon. Gonna be, he, he just he wants to play, man. That's all he wants. If Sean loses, I think he's sad because he doesn't get to play anymore. Yeah. How's that for, for narrative? I am one of the <coughs> few people that took Sean to the last game. It was 2-1. Just me or the blue ticks for the game counts? Hard to see. No, they are. People have talked to me, told me about that. But I, uh, I just keep forgetting. I'll be real. Going right into it. No hand warmers or anything? No, I dropped your going. Game and watch. We saw a couple, uh, couple different characters earlier. We saw Ivy Store. We saw Ice Climbers. Whack characters. Played Falco against TPJ, which he does have. He does have Falco. 
Did you just go against like the snakes? Oh, he played. Dead. I think he played like three different characters against Octo. Yeah, he played um. Ice Climber. No, do you play Ice Climbers? I think that was game yeah. one. Yeah, Ice Climbers, Ivor Sword, game watch. I believe we already saw this today, too. Do some, do some top tiers right here. Because I think game one. I think this was winner semis. And game one was Falco Meta Knight. I think we saw like five characters between these two in winter semis, so. Wait. Did... Yeah, technically. The whole roster of characters. I mean, Tony could play a lot of characters. Wow. Smart to go for that forward air. If he just held ledge, Cody was going to get back on. Gets the last hit of the back air. I didn't realize he could convert off. That, is, that was F2, I want to say. Up air to just prevent Tony from grabbing ledge. Waits for the shield to dissipate. Make him light or blue. True. Rex, how's your night going? It's going pretty good. Yeah. I work early in the morning, so I'm probably going to head out pretty yeah. early. Yeah, I feel that. I got shit. Well, I'm going to hold that L tomorrow. But I don't have to leave. Like there. Not going to kill, though. Cape almost. This is... It's kind of a small bracket, though. It kind of went the normal time. That's usually how it goes. Which is surprising, because Jank stayed so long in bracket, so you think it, the bracket would go a lot longer? Yeah, that happens. There's one of best of fives. Gonna Kills off the top of the up air. At 175, too. Uh, these guys play a lot. Probably guys all... You, you probably know that. Most people probably know that. They used to play a lot. They don't play as much anymore, but they have a very long history of playing each other. Oh. Up smash, just gonna seal it. Tony looking pretty dominant. He's living at super high percents too. But that, as I say that, he dies at 90. 2-1, pretty close. Uh, Cody could still take it, unless... Tony just gets an insane combo. The up air machine. Ecker not gonna kill. Oh my god. Gets the Nair out of shield. Ecker. Still not going to kill WoW. Really good DI. Oh. Tony was a good early up B. We'll catch him trying to go low and like Nair. Tony's up B. Tony just tries to end it, but ends himself in the process. Cody could take this, but he's uh, gonna, it's yeah. just going to have to be a it's zero hard to, to death. Yeah, it's kind of hard to start from upper sense. Game Watch going to crouch cancel a lot of your shit. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Tries to read it, but doesn't get. Oh, this is big. I'm surprised you. I, I wonder if that's like the best throw to go for in Super Saiyan. Probably is. Yeah, I think I, I saw their set earlier, and Tony was just hitting him with down smashes off of that because either Ooh. Cody. Was that going to kill? No, it's wow. It's alive. Oh, Nick okay, lives with an air. He's going to kill. Oh, he doesn't get the down B. I could have sworn. Ooh, down air. It's still possible. Could wow. Be nice. Very, very close. Oh, God. Up air. Doesn't kill. Oh, oh, no. Wow, yeah, that's going to end it, yeah. That's a hard spot to be in. If you tech in, I'm sorry, if you tech away, I guess technically, you're dead. He, he covers a lot of options that you down, uh, down throw on platform. Yeah, I don't think the only way you could probably live that is tech. maybe get like up behind and like ops and tech, I guess. Maybe no, get you, up you, tech. You, you couldn't get up tech. He would just, he would just down throw, or he would just down smash. Would get up attack, not clank? Yeah, I doubt it. Ooh. Ooh, quick 60%. Yeah. Down smash out of shield doesn't get it because Tony's been able to read that. Ooh. Wow.
Yeah, I guess down throw is like easily the best option there because I don't think up throw doesn't have kill potential. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it sends too high at the percent that you could actually like kill with a move. And I don't like he doesn't have any kill throws. He so. would do it. Tony would. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think he's not trying to like swag. He was just like, he's not trying to like cheese or uh, you know. You know now I mean. if Jank was playing, we'd get every weird ass thing Game and Watch can do. Game and Watch feel like doesn't do a lot of weird shit. He's very straightforward. Yeah, you approach with That's down the thing with game and you or, I mean, that is the thing with Game Watch, though, is that he has... He, oh, no. He has good hitboxes. They last for a long time. Um, he's very straightforward. Game Watch is just a Ooh. very, like, well-rounded character. He has good combos, good hitboxes. The only thing that really is bad about him is that he is insanely light. Is he insanely light? I think he's, like, like the third or That's fourth. That's the second SD in the game. All right. Third or so, fourth lightest character in the game. The game's Cody. Hold on, I'm looking this up. I think he's the s either that or he's the second lightest behind Puff. Nair just gonna Look kill off stage. Wait, the 80, wow. He's as light as like Fox. Nowhere near third or fourth. What am I wrong? Am I, am I dumb as shit? Do I just not know anything? Reggie, hook me up. Hook me up with the list if you got it. Is it 85? Wow. He just seems so much lighter. I, just, I checked the I checked Rukai and it said 80, but it could be it could be like not right. Which is even lighter. Wow, I just realized this is one sock to one sock. Tony, hey, Tony really brought it back. Made up for those SDs. Here, Northway. Northway is 85. Dude, Fox is like five. five. Fox weighs 75. He's a light guy. Are you sure it's 80? I swear I got I checked. I swear to God, like up to date Rukai P. Plus. Yeah, that's gonna kill. Well, I said shit's is wrong. So we got two different. Benji says 85, Connor says 80. I'm gonna go with Connor only because I just looked it up. Oh. I think I'm gonna head out for this last games, but. I need to eat. I'm starving. I understand. All right, you have a good one. I appreciate it. Yeah, no dude. problem. You have a good Drive one, safe. man. Now just die. Okay, 75. Uh, okay. So it was 75. Oh, yeah, because they, they buffed it to compensate for um, for bucket break being removed. That was like the, the idea, I'm assuming, right? All right, chat, I'm probably gonna head off. Might be back with someone else if you want to commentate.
Contest Bowser. Ready? Go! Mr. Game and Watch. And we're fucking back. Yep, back for grand finals. We would we wouldn't leave you guys yes. hanging for grand finals. Of course that, not. That never happens. That would literally never happen in Sean Corp's history. Yeah, <laughs> definitely not a single time. Is there a place to talk about home run contest stuff for PM? 
Yeah, Tony's Twitter. I don't know. Pretty much Tony just does it. Tony, yeah, he's you literally like talked to Tony. I, the only other person I've ever seen do it, I think, was honestly, actually, I don't even remember his tag, but basically Tony. Just talk to Tony. He'll tell you all about it. He'll talk to you for hours about it. And he'll help you with any any strats you, you may need for any character. Because he, he has his own for pretty much every, for the whole cast at this point. But, I mean, this isn't home run contest. Sorry. This is grand final. No, you don't be sorry. <laughs> uh, this, this is wrong. Hold on. Because, uh, yeah, Drug Free is coming from the loser side. Yeah. Ness looks so fucking funny when he's in uh, Game to Watch, bro. So tiny. Uh, I haven't. I don't think I've noticed. Look, look, look at it next time he gets grabbed. Yeah, absolutely. Funny shit. It'll happen, man. He's so small. But yeah, Octorok doing well again. I just, I mean, just showing, you know, good fundamentals. It, you don't have to practice every week, but you can, you can just come. You can, if you're good, you, you're good. Yeah, I, um, second week in a row, right? He came last week. I, I think so, yeah. Good. Maybe two weeks oh. ago. I hope he comes enough to qualify for PR, because he'll definitely... I think he will. I think he's pretty close already, so... Oh, yeah. I mean, I what? I think he's been to three... He's been to at least two. At least two, for sure. At least two, for sure. He needs to go to, like, three... Oh, actually, I don't know what the... Uh, it's it's like three or four or something. But the last one was five. The last one was five. Yeah, I don't know. But we didn't have regionals or something, right? We'll probably do five again. I mean, I, I mean, no one, no one quote me on this. I mean, that, that seemed fine to me. I don't know. Yeah, I we mean, always do something different. Five almost seemed like not enough. Yeah, but <laughs> it's hard because like it's really hard. Some people literally just come here five times. Yeah, in exactly. Season, so I'm like not sure. But for Octa, I'm pretty, know. I'm pretty happy with the last PR. Yeah, I thought it was fine. Yeah. For what, for what we had, the data we had, I thought it was good. Yeah. It's, it's it came a, two weeks ago. Is that what it was? Was that? Shit, man. What? The time just melts, just blends together. Yeah, it really. Time, you mean? Yeah. Tom, yeah. <laughs> you said Tom. <laughs> Tom like, really blends together. <laughs> really. <laughs> all the Toms in the scene just blend together. Dude. Yeah, I mean, kind of, but not really. They're super all Tom. super different. <laughs> yeah, that is funny shit, actually. They're all, like, extremely different. I love all our Toms, so it's all right. Tom Squad. Tom Squad, except fuck all Toms. Oh, yeah, right? fuck all yeah, Toms. Fuck all of the Toms, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not friends with any I, of them. I love fuck all Toms. Yeah. It was because we were, um, it was like a van that it was like me, or like the, the van was had, it, it had, yeah, it was the E-Van. It had yeah. Pooch, Tom, and, and LSD, and then DLA in it. Oh, my God. All at once. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah like, exactly. Fuck this, dude. Yeah. <laughs> fuck these Surrounded guys. Surrounded by Toms. Yeah, dude. That's so, so fucked up. It isn't, it isn't fair. <laughs> so we, we we pull up to uh, to U of I, or it's on campus. <laughs> <laughs> we see DLA while we're driving, and keep in mind we're in like the 15 passenger like white van. Okay, yeah. And we open the door and we go, Tom, get in. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's like definitely students, <laughs> like right by him. Yeah. I I can only imagine how awkward that. Felt. Yeah, I would have fucking booked it. <laughs> Who the fuck are these weirdos? They were like, yeah, Tom. It's Tom Carr. <laughs> with like a bunch of dweebs in the car. Yeah. With their controllers. With the same name. There's a you. computer in the car. I wouldn't get it. Someone if everyone in there. there was named Cody, I would definitely not go in there. It'd just be too I'll weird. Call I call Cody's. I don't only know one Cody. It's yeah, you. it's me. So. <laughs> I, like, I like Cody. Cody's, a, Cody's good. It's all right. It's well, like very late 80s, 90s, though. Are we talking about names, names? Yeah, like names. I used to not like my name. I used to not like Jack. Jack. I like it now. I think, it's a fire. I, think I have a fire name. Actually. Jack is good. I mean, it's easy to say. It's got like, it's like a kick to it. It's got nice consonants. Yeah. Yeah, right. And you know it, what? I will say. No, what's up? Uh, well, I was just going to say it's concise. It is concise. Uh, I will say I've had more people say, like, like hear my name wrong than I think... That I, that I thought I would. Hmm. People would be like, "What? Your name's Check?" And I'm like, "Why the fuck would my <laughs> name be Check?" Check. Dude? Use your fucking brain. <laughs> I'll never forget. Queen F7. Check. <laughs> it must have been like freshman year of high school or something. And we go to like our like or orientation like before class starts. Yeah. And it's like my first time in high school. Like the first words I ever said in the building. <laughs> They're like, "All right, introduce yourself." And I like say my name, and they go, "Check." <laughs> I'm like, "Fuck, dude." <laughs> 
Do they think it was like J E C K? I have no like, idea. Who, who names her kid Jack anyway? I don't know. I hope they know that I remember that moment for the rest of my <laughs> high school career. Nothing's been the same since Dude, I got my name wrong. I, I wish I could relate better, but like no one's messed up my name. Like yeah. Cody and then Sharp. Cody? It's, it's like, literally huh? like a common name and then like a, a memorable last name. You know, like a literally, literally just a word. Yeah. In the English language, like that you learn to spell. So like you, you should know how to do that one. Yeah. Though sometimes people do ask, but there's an e at the end. Like right. Sharp. Hey. Yeah, it's like Sharp. Right. Fuck that. But fuck you. Yeah, we're like, no what, e. what do I look fuck like? Fuck that shit. I look like some fucking... Why, why is the guy being E? It's just pointless. No E, dude. Silent fucking E. I agree. I like my full name. I don't want to dox myself, even though everyone calls me by my full name anyways. I was just, I was just going to say because I like saying your name. <laughs> I know, dude. I, I love, love my full name. <laughs> um, and I can't really... Like, everyone knows it now. So yeah. yeah. That's fair. Luckily, it's a common name. <laughs> Wouldn't it suck if you like didn't have a common name? Like, I'm sure there's a, a lot mean, of Cody freshmen. Do you just reference freshmen? Yeah, of course. You better man than B E E. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I guess having a non-standard name would be worse because everyone would just fuck it up all the You're time. Like, oh, well, I thought they because then like you could, they could look you up. Like you heard mm -hmm. someone heard your last name. Like, oh, you're like the only person that's, in the world that has that last name. Yeah, that's a good point. You're just oh, cool. Let me just Google you. <laughs> Yeah. Yo. Just. <laughs> what would you do? If someone would with you. Uh, I mean, probably ask to be taken off the list, but I don't know how effective that would be. White pages, you? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> just ask. Just fuck plead, the phone book. plead. Google. I'm. I'm not. You know, I may be a youngin, but I'm not. I'm not too young to where I never had to use a phone book. I think that's where the cutoff is. Yeah. I've had to use the phone book. Before. I've like. Wanted to like call friends that I didn't know the numbers was high slug, so I looked up their I number on the phone. I book. think I've like ripped more fun books than I've legitimately used. That's though. fire. I mean, like it's really easy. You just gotta do it right. I would just do it to just like impress people who don't know how to yeah, do it. Yeah, as you should. Yeah, of course. <laughs> just like oh look at this. You didn't just do it in your free time. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just like ripping yellow. Yes, <laughs> you're just fucking <laughs> yellow pages. Fuck this. Just just have stacks of yellow pages. I just rip. <laughs> your room is just filled with like. <laughs> Half ripped paper. This is the only <laughs> thing I do. Would that be more embarrassing or like less embarrassing than like uh, traditionally embarrassing something like someone finding something in your room? Like, but instead like you have what? a stack of yellow pages. <laughs> I don't know. Just, there's, there's a very, there's a very like, uh, a, that's a large list of things. It is a large list. Of things. Nice. Your mom finds your SD card. <laughs> Kicks you out of the house. Strictly melee family. <laughs> Resumes. <laughs> <laughs> of course. No, mom, it's not, it's not what it looks like. <laughs> Project I was working on. Oh, yeah. Wow. He almost won what the 420. Fuck? It's unfortunate. So, uh, Tony just really trying to get into this last set here quickly with the 3 0. Being from losers, he does not want to do it. So, trying to get the set over as quick as possible. Yeah, you know, there wasn't a lot of people here, but it kind of went the same amount of time that it always does. So, uh, you know. The longer the set goes on at this point, the probably the more tired Tony will get. Yeah, I was thinking about that while running the tournament, and I was like, I really. Uh, I should probably make sure stream matches. I kind of I mean, don't want to keep everyone here as late as possible. He seems fine, man. Yeah, I mean, I don't even think it's too late right now, is it? No, it's maybe just turned midnight. Yeah, it's 11.50. 11.50. Not too bad. End a little bad. after. Not too bad. Fine. We're not going to sub 12, but... Yeah, it's been a while since we've sub 12. Yeah, I know. Even when we have, like, small brackets, we haven't sub 12 in a while. I know. It's, I mean, it's mostly because they have been streaming a little Best of more. five in streams, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, when we had best of three and, like, top oh, five or whatever. If we had best three with no stream, we would be over in, like, an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah, I know. It would be <laughs> so fast. <laughs> I don't, honestly, it would be kind of nice sometimes. I don't some, know what you're sometimes, saying. Right? Some days I kind of just want to go, like, do it and go home. Uh-huh. I mean, that does hey, happen. We do it for the fans. Yeah. I like it better this way anyway. Yeah, I right. agree. I like watching this. Yeah. 
Big fan. Don't like playing Ness. More rare nowadays. Yeah, I don't like playing Ness. I don't uh, like playing anyone with a weird double jump, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, right. But, I mean, I don't like weird. It, it can like be fun, like, sometimes. It's just, like, not, not like, always. Yeah. <laughs> down tilt bothers me. Like, Ness is down tilt? Yeah. Like, how you can just, like, spam it? Yeah. And it's, like, insane. And it, kill, you can, it goes into kill move. Yeah. Like that. It goes in the kill move at, like, really high or something. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Usually it just tacks on like 50 damage for free as they try to like beat it beat it out, but they can't because you can mash it so quickly. The question is, what do, what do I get for dinner tonight? I'm assuming you're not you're not White Castle. Yeah, because I'm not with Andy. You're not you're not Dusseldorf with the burger. Yeah, a little Dusseldorf with the burger I, never I hurt know, nobody, dude. I have no idea if Patrick and Tony are gonna like get food before they leave because they got they got a longer drive. They're dropping me off, but and they gotta drive even further. But. Yeah, man, that's crazy that they do this. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have to drive, like, 50 minutes, and that feels like a slog. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely going, like, nearly three hours. Nearly three hours? Yeah. Are you I, kidding me? I, I, think if the, I think since they got me, I think it was going to be a little over three hours. Fucking hell. So. That's so unfortunate. I mean, yeah, that's that's the life you live when you live in Springfield. Yeah, I was going to say. God bless. Yeah. Why, that's why you don't see Ripple come up here. Tony's making this look like a 3-0. Yeah, absolutely. They're definitely looking different from winners. I mean, he used like ice climbers and uh, an Ivy, Ivy sword, yeah. But with just Game and Watch, it's looking more, more his his uh, set. But I mean, there's always another. Could be Octorok is using this set to just you know gain Feel information. Just kind of yeah. maybe maybe learn how to edge guard him. Maybe he doesn't know some stuff like that. You know, I, I used to think I was a big uh, game one loser. You know, I would just gather information. I usually lose game one. Yeah. Now I think I'm a game one winner and a game three loser. <laughs> I mean, I think it's better to win game one and gain information. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean Generally. that's that's the dream. <laughs> that is. The dream. <laughs> you can't wait them all. That is oh, the dream. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do my best. Uh, it's been. Delcious Akarok, Octorok. He fucked it up. Had his name spelled wrong. For some reason, I just like suddenly I could hear the whole venue. I think people are just randomly louder. I don't know why. Ultimate. I don't know if it's like. Is there like sound canceling? In these? Yeah. <laughs> Not nah, these. Don't really cancel them anything. I was like, I don't know, cause like I know they like take a sound and like replay it. I don't know if it's like catching like people's voices. Oh, these specifically? Yeah, but I mean. Oh no. Oh, you mean like the mic is is doing it? Yeah. Yeah, no. I don't Probably. Know. I don't think this mic picks up. I don't know. As much as you think. Probably maybe, not. Maybe. I don't know. It's just like randomly. It's just like something. It did like get. It did swell. It's like I could like Crowd hear what swelled. they were saying. I guess that happens too, right? Why is Octo shit just not fitting? Okay, cool. What? Oh. name would have fit. I mean, he's got a long He's long ass name, motherfuckers, dude. Yeah, and Tony with the, with the ALS as well. Gotta do it though. Yeah. Even though he's got he's got the move tag on right now. So. For a long time, Tony made sure I, I, I put his full tag on there. Yeah. <laughs> and ever since then, I've always done it. Yeah, I mean, I think I think that was his goal. Yeah, he was like, if I if I annoy Jack about this enough, he won't. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> yeah, as long, uh, you know, as long as you're nice about it, I'll do a lot of things. Yeah, <laughs> that's how I feel. <laughs> that's about really it. all it takes. Yeah. I'm not hard to win over. Is that good? Well, if I say yes, will you just leave me now? <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what it is actually. I don't know. I feel <laughs> that way all the time. Kind of. <laughs> I mean, you know, well, sometimes. <laughs> I mean, I get it. I get it. It's annoying. I think it's cool. Uh, cool and also a little weird. Not weird, uh, but like Smash Communities kind of see me grow up. I become a little uh, high school boy. Yeah. So now, <laughs> little <laughs> little man. <laughs> 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 just turn into an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> just, open, just, just start as a te normal teenage boy. And then nothing Loompa. changed. Absolutely. <laughs> wow. 
Tony loves oh. finishing off the top of the up air. Hard to make seven hour run. For oh yeah, it's not related to what we're talking about. The funny bit part is you just set it up with up air, and then you just have up B, so you just confirm it. Yeah. yeah. Fucked up. Yeah. Jesus. Texas. Texas. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. He's smiling too. Smiling too. Uh, what do I get from McDonald's? That's probably what I'm getting. Yeah. I'm so glad I hold that L is in Chicago. It's only a half hour drive for me and not like two hours. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have gone if it was more than a half hour. Yeah. Drive. When is it? Is that like tomorrow? Yeah. yeah. Melee turn now. I'm one. playing I'm playing mad melee recently. You've been playing oh. bad melee? Mad melee. Mad melee. Bad melee. Okay. okay. <laughs> Copious amounts. Copious amounts of melee. I mean melee's a fun game. I, I just love melee. The problem with melee is that PM is like slightly better. Yeah, right. In my opinion, so it makes me not want to play melee. I don't know. I just I'm in a melee mood recently. Yeah, I mean I, I enjoy PM. melee for what it is too. It's it's more simple in a lot of ways, yeah. but in other ways it's like way more complex. Oh yeah. But it really depends how you just. Melee would be such a better game if it had fucking raw and like. Yeah, like a like reasonable ledge. dash window. Yeah. Yes, if that wasn't something we had a mod in. Yeah. It's <laughs> just like, shit like that. There, there's just so many things, like, the fact that you can buff or get up attack frame one of your missed attack animation. Yeah. Just press, pressing A, you just, like, buffer for, like, 30 frames or whatever. It's whack. Yeah. There, there's so many other things, like, you can't, like, in melee, you can spot dodge in between your guard, like, when you're releasing shield. PM, you can't do that. So it fucks, up, it fucks up my wave dash without shield all the time. Wait. I'm if you let so go of shield, if you let go of shield, you can spot dodge in melee. Then PM, really? you're locked out of spot dodge. So, like the letting go of shield animation, you're yes. locked out of spot dodge. Yes. I didn't even think in, about that having an animation. In PM, yeah. It's called, it's 16 frames long, and that's. It's 16 frames? Yeah, that's why you generally want to wave dash out of shield if you're going to move out of shield. That's why it's like laggy to let go of shield. Thinking about holding shield, and that's how they do it. Did you really think like shield? I just never. I shield is like frame one. I never thought about it at all. <laughs> it just <laughs> it just happens. I feel like if, if you like ever tried to play like brawl or ultimate or something like that, you would notice because in those games shield release is like like six or seven frames long. Yeah. It's like instant, so you can like shield, let go, and then like down smash. Right. Stuff like that. God, is it really sixteen frames? I didn't even thought about that. Yeah, it's a long. It's a while. Yeah. But if you think about it, it's basically the lag of a wave dash, so. Yeah, makes sense. But you don't move anywhere. So. That was on purpose. Score is 1-1, one, one, isn't it? Um, no, I don't think so. No. That was the last game of Battlefield, wasn't it? Yeah. That was a I reset. think it was just 1-0. Oh. This happens every every week there's a reset. Yeah, didn't Tony win 4-2 last time? Yeah. Last week? <laughs> yeah. Did. Just silly. <laughs> wow, that, that was futile. What do you mean it was futile? The, 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 the bacon in Florida. Oh. <laughs> there was so much, like, yes, you will be intercepted now. Yeah, yeah. It's a fucking explosion. I'm surprised, uh, like, his forward air didn't beat out the, the you know, the PK Thunder. Yeah, too. I think I think it, I guess it was too late. I guess it still had invincibility. Does that be invincibility? It does. I it's mean, right when you hit with the, the tail end of it, it has a little bit of invincibility while, while it starts. But, uh, I don't though. remember exactly how long it lasts, so. So smart. Just remember things. That's all being smart is, that's all. Yeah, right? <laughs> I guess. Book smarts. Yeah. I was trying to, uh, I was trying to, like, train someone in, like, the game. Like, they had only, not trained, but, like, they had only been playing for a month, and they were just, like, I was playing melee with them. And yeah. they were just asking me all these questions, like, super specific situations, like, oh, so, like, when I recover. Um, like with Marth here, I should be side beam and going low. And I'm like, okay, you need to figure out. <laughs> you need to figure out how to move your character where you want him to go first. <laughs> that is step number one. Uh, look, he's just excited. I know. To, to get into playing the game. I know, and it's great that he's asking questions because some people don't do shit. They just they they say nothing in yeah. the entire friendly session. Yeah, and then they don't. You say nothing for like three you know, games, they, and they, they go don't nice. try to like improve the situations they're losing them. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean. That's, that's hard to learn. Yeah. It's kind of like a social skill. Yeah, I mean, it helps if you're, like, if you, like, know the basics. So you're. Yeah, and if you know what to even ask questions about. Yeah, exactly. That's something I learned 
very early on. Uh, it was really hard for me early on to, like, ask questions, because I never really knew what I was doing wrong. Right, exactly. And, like, asking what did I do wrong doesn't, is a, yeah, I, not I, a loaded question, I, I, but it's... I've asked that question and gotten a lot of, like, angry responses, like... Yeah, like, oh, l no, like, like, it. yeah, it's just like, you're going to make me, like... <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I'd ever get mad at someone, but I would be like, I can't really answer that. Yeah. Unless I mean, they did not make an effort at all to like reconcile, hmm. like figure out why that question is bad. Sleepy K has a really good video about like improving and how people ask questions. Yeah. See, that's the thing. Like, when I was first starting, I was in a Skype call or or like a Skype group with Dark Fox, Kage, and oh God. Kirby, Kaze, Sleepy K. And we just like talked about melee and played some yeah. multiplayer. And that's how I got my start. That's awesome. That's such a good start. I know. <laughs> I didn't realize how good I had it, to be honest. Fuck yeah. But it was like really shitty netplay. That, yeah, like before it, netplay was good. It was like 2013, 2014. Oh god, dude, that was awful. That netplay was like literally like maybe 11, 12 frames of lag. Yeah. It was like actually garbage. But that's back. That's back when I played. I didn't. For like two I months, didn't know so better, so like I just dealt with it. And it was actually a really good training tool for the time. Nice. I'm not gonna lie. I was like when PM you could play a Wi-Fi on console. It was yeah. Abysmal. That that's was, how I met um. It was Ash awful, Marks. but like it was kind of cool at the same time. Dude, that's how I met Ash Marks. You, you ever went to fsmash.com? No. You just I'm go too there. Too old or too young for that. Oh, dude, no, you're too old for that. It's uh. It's a really old like brawl matchmaking site. Where you're like an all brawl guy. Yeah, kind of. You would just like go there and people would just want to play. I think I, I think I found. Give them a friend code or whatever. I would say Joey, I know live in Brawl Central. Did you did you brawl like Central. used to uh, hang out with like Harry the Chin on Brawl Central or some shit? <laughs> what are you talking about? Shout out to Harry the Chin, dude. Yeah, dude. Shout <laughs> oh out to Harry the Chin. Honestly, <laughs> that was crazy. I hope I have uh, the oh, two. Pants. Oh, it's two. Oh, right now. Yeah, Octorok turning around hard. See, he was just gathering information that first set. Proven. Tony like, taking a sec. Either get himself into it. prove me wrong. Yeah. Tony sticking with Game & Watch. Three, right play. Two, yeah. Hopefully he can get himself back into this. Makes it a little more Tony even. Tony kind of taking like a second. Yeah. Trying to figure good. out what he needs to do. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. People Sean just, people just yelling. Sean just straight up. Yeah. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> we were 14 playing Wi-Fi with fire. That's that's that's, that's what you do when you're 14. Oh, to be 14 and yeah, playing right? Link Dittos. Oh, what did I do when I was 14? I think I played Melee. Yeah. yeah just, that's when I got into Melee. Pretty sure that's... No, actually, I think I was playing Street Fighter. Yeah, I played Melee when I was like a kid a lot, and like Smash and too. But it was like a period where, like, before Brawl came out, where I was I didn't play that much. Then after Brawl came out, I didn't play anything for like else for like two years, mm. other than Brawl. That's crazy. Maybe maybe took like two years of break, from, like, maybe three There's years, a and then just joined competitive at that point. There was a very short period of time where I was obsessed with like retro games. I think that's when I found like AVGN. And I was like, yeah, this is the shit. Yeah, I think everyone was watching AVGM. Yeah, at that time, yeah right? exactly. Yeah. At one point, like 2013. Which I think I missed some of the wave, but mm. still, I was like, yeah, retro games are low key, good. It's they're way better Hell yeah. than modern. Fuck modern games. <laughs> Fuck Gears of War. Uh huh. You know? Yeah. <laughs> you know, because that was a game that came I, out. I know, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I know my friends started playing Black Ops, Duty. so I want that one. No, I Black played Cops. <laughs> Call of Duty. Black Cox. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I've probably heard that joke I, more than five times in my life because of like middle school. Man, I've probably heard that more than times. Black Ops came out when I was in unfortunately. <laughs> god. Yeah. I remember that era way too well. Dude, I played hell of Black Ops. I love that game. <laughs> I know, dude. Black Ops is so much fun. <laughs> it's a, it is pretty fun. And it's just like, just like hitting people with guns. It's pretty fun. Great. Call of Duty gun game. Generally has a good game, gun game. So it's, it's fun regardless. You That's take it too seriously, it starts to come out fun. Yeah. It's been so long since I've played a Call of Duty game. It's been it's like an hour. Yeah, no, no, no. I tried playing Black Ops like three. I, I downloaded the demo and it took like an hour. And then I found out they added boxing gloves. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I wouldn't really. I mean, I feel like. Uh, it seems like it's just like a catch grab. 
Yeah, I spent. Uh, I've I've come to terms. So. Oh yeah, I mean it's fine. I just choose not to buy it. Yeah, and I spent um I spent a lot of money on Fortnite. My my shame my I I, I only feel a little bit of shame. I mean, a anytime I feel shame for like microtransactions, I think about that guy who played um. Fuck, what's that game called? You know, uh, you know, Fake Grand Order. I don't. It's I don't like think a mobile so. game. No, it's don't. a gotcha game. This guy spent like like twenty thousand dollars on it. Are you fucking they ran like a news story, and every time I like, <laughs> every time I make a microtransaction, I think of that guy. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't like. I don't buy shit off like mobile games or games yeah. that are free. I don't like Overwatch or whatever. Like, I, don't I don't buy PM loot now. boxes. I don't. <laughs> There's uh, no point. <laughs> yeah, me, it like, feels kind of good though. It definitely gets a dopamine. Especially rolling. for like skins, because like you're not gonna be looking at yourself most of the time. Yeah. I mean, at least as far as I know, like Fortnite. And, uh, Fortnite, you look at yourself. You just look at your back. Oh, is it like third person? Yeah. I actually have never played. That's wild. <laughs> Don't you remember the content Connor posted? I, I like. Yeah, <laughs> I remember. I watched, it. I watched it a while ago. I, <laughs> I remember you said uh, this game kind of looks like competitive head hide and seek, and I was like, that's awesome. <laughs> it, it is what it looked like. You, there was like a tower, and you just like kept like, you're, yeah, like jungle gymming around. Yeah, because I won that one because I was looking for him, dude. I couldn't find you him. Just like kept jungle gymming around, just like looking. It is kind of how the game goes. You jungle gym and you shoot while you jungle gym. Yeah. And you I don't build gym. It, lo it looked like fun, honestly. Fortnite, I, I love. I love slash loved Fortnite. Yeah. I put in a lot of hours into that game. Like, try to take it seriously competitively. Uh -huh. I think it's a very interesting competitive game. Tony, uh, uh, I don't know about it. Yeah. Tony bringing it back. Getting back into the set. So, it, uh, it is interesting competitively. I actually don't know how that works. Yeah. So I, I thought um, it was like, it's like a, like a free for all, right? Yeah. So, like, in competitive. So it's like a battle royale, right? Yeah. So there's like a circle that gets smaller and smaller. Mm -hmm. um, but in competitive, it's like you get to like really small circles. And since there's building and there's like you can infinitely build up. You know what I mean? So there's like a lot, yeah. of, a lot of verticality in it. Yeah. Um, there's you know there's people with like there's like 50 people in like small ass circles. I see. And oh, just and like just like power on these fucking huge. Yeah, ass, and, like and the, the circle will like move. And people have to like build it's, tunnels it's, it while gets, they run. It's like really small. Yeah, and and like it like restricts the player. Yeah, yeah, kind of. And there's a lot of like people talk about like battle royale games and like how can you be good at a battle royale game? It's all random. The weapons you get are random, and it's like you have to be good at minimizing RNG. Yeah, that's I mean like that's a big thing I learned. That's same with with Smash, honestly. Yeah, there's a lot of characters like you that. You need to it's minimize like. like the chances your opponent can like mix up exactly you minimize the chances like your opponent hits you at all exactly it's, i mean yeah i mean it makes sense <laughs> yeah uh, a lot of resource management um and in fortnite especially yeah, yeah, yeah. more than any other battle royale it's like a lot of uh, technical skill like it's like like it's like legit tech skill yeah like kids these days are so fucking good at building oh and i can I, imagine like right? i i haven't played in Half a year, like I haven't taken it seriously since like last summer. Is there like a like a training mode where you could like yeah. just like learn to build? Oh, okay. Yeah. I was just wondering because like I was just thinking like if you had to practice like during real matches that would be annoying. It used to be that way. Oh, did it? Yeah, like, a long time ago. Like, I mean, it makes sense the way it changed. Yeah. Um, you can so like there's a box right? There's like a floor, ceiling, and four walls. If if there like you own all those walls. And you can edit holes in the walls. You can like edit them in half. I don't know. What you're oh, you mean you know like I mean? for the structures? Yeah. yeah so for the structures, yeah, yeah, yeah. like let's say you have a wall. Like okay, I want to edit the structure. I want to like, put a window a here. Okay. So the strat is like, if someone, if you're at a wall, someone walks up to you. They're like, hey, I want to kill you, right? Okay. Yeah. They're gonna try to break your wall. The by shooting yeah. with their pickaxe, or by shooting it. Or, or with their pickaxe. Okay. And as soon as the wall is broken, they want to replace it with their own wall. They want to take ownership of that. So. Oh, I see. So you there's can't, like you can't place a wall. Uh, so you, you can hold down like le you can hold down your builds, and I uh, it's like kind of whack now because I think it was ping based and then it became random like who, and, like who whoever was like holding build. The, I, it's really hard. I'm really. I'm explaining this terribly. No. It, well, it, the point is. No, it's okay. I, the I think point I is. The point it, is, the there's like code. fighting game like fundamentals in this game. I <laughs> swear to God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, understand. I understand. Because there's play. There's, it's a one v one with counterplay, 
and like levels of like Yomi. I, I think you'd be surprised how many games have like fighting game fundamentals and Yomi like, yeah, attached. That to. is a good point. I feel like a uh, it's not always obvious if you're yeah, like you a casual know. play, but if you've like played games like these, you can you kind of like recognize the situation. Right. Where it's like my opponent literally like he can only do these things, and I can I have options to counteract both these things. You know, I could you know I could read him. Right. Exactly. For example, it's just. Yeah, I could definitely see that playing to like most shooters. Right. Like like anything where where like you could run like around a corner and it's like which way do I go? Like that's just the most basic like 50 50. Right. Exactly. <laughs> you know. Very cool. Shouts to shouts to the other games. Shoutouts to competitive video games. They're dude. They're honestly they're honestly really cool. I I, really, I like them more than sports. I, I can I actually love competitive I can games. actually understand what's going on. Sports seems cool if you're playing it and it's just watching I don't understand that much. I've uh I've honestly I've probably popped off more in Fortnite than I do in Smash. Maybe it's because I'm like in that. my home, my own home. Yeah, and maybe it's like I don't know. <laughs> the, the, the opponents aren't gonna see you like right. be like, haha, you're so bad. <laughs> like like in Smash, like, <laughs> like Yeah, it's a like very social game. I feel like it like it sometimes like make them feel bad if you like, pop off <laughs> too hard. You know? yeah, I, I kind of wish I was a, a pop offer. I know. It's It looks like it feels great. Yeah, um, yeah it really does. And so it, someone pop off against but me. But I think I think with like every pop off comes like the negative pop off. Where when you lose, you just like sulk. Yeah, that's what, that's what I always figured. I, but I, I definitely sulk occasionally. I don't know. Because I feel like it's Someone, so, someone like, pop off against me today in a close set we had. It, I, I like felt really happy for him. I see. Yeah. Sorry, well, I'm sorry. No, I was just gonna say I feel like it, you can't have it both ways with like popping off when you win, and like not sulking when you lose. Yeah, but yeah, just because like the the raw emotion, like the place where that comes from, is like the same. Yes, I agree. So like either either you win or you lose, right? Either you're clutch and you're happy, or you're, you know you you fall apart and you're, you're sad. You know. Holy shit! Let's okay. Should we read Adamus' message in Discord? This is very long. Okay. <coughs> okay. Adamus rants in this on stream. Is this an accurate statement? He asks. Once knockback has been calculated using the move stats and victim weight, DI and percent, and the victim... Wait, okay. Once knockback has been calculated using the move stats... Using the move stats and victim weight, DI and percent, and the victim begins traveling, the only thing that influences the trajectory of the victim until such time as they reach their fall speed or terminal velocity is the victim's gravity. Phrased as a thought experiment, all the characters in the cast are in, of PM are lined up on FD. They have all been modded to have the same weight and gravity. An invisible hitbox hits them all at the same time and has a knockback angle of 90. The move has infinite hits done. The result is that all the characters reach the same vertical height at the same time and then begin traveling down at the same rate, but one by one, Characters start falling behind as they reach their fall speed. Eventually, they touch ground in order of most fall speed to lowest fall speed, correct or false. Honestly, I think it depends on the acceleration of the character. Of yeah. Fall speed, because that's a stat. And I think, because he didn't say no acceleration, I think. Um, I mean, uh, I feel like that's like the only other factor other than terminal velocity, which I also think plays a factor. But I don't think, like, they're not going to start falling at the same speed because gravity is going to make, like, the speed at which you start falling faster or slower depending on what value it is. Yeah. Acceleration is Probably gravity. Excel is gravity. Okay. So he's listening. Good to know. Yeah, okay, he might be right. They all have the same gravity. I mean, I, I guess if they have the same gravity, I don't see why not. <laughs> I feel like this is a question for the smarty pants people. You know those people? Yeah, I know those people. You know, you know those people who just know shit? Yeah. It's like when Eon throws out like a formula. I'm like, oh yeah, the formula for like this is this shit. I I'm mean, like, the Jesus formulas Christ. are well known. I know, but like... <laughs> Still. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think it's awesome. Don't get me wrong. Also, uh, Tony's going to win. So. Mm. Good eye, Tony, for the meditation. Bringing it back in. I'm so sorry, Octo. 
I mean, it, it, the only thing I'll say is if their terminal velocities are still, like their max fall speed is different, they're, they're going to reach that max fall speed, whereas some other characters aren't. So I don't think they're going to fall at the same speed. Interesting. I, I think that's just a simple fact, yeah. Tony's kind of... Tony's kind of running the train right now. Running run the house. Running away with it. Every running... Yeah, Tony's uh, done... Super good job, just like adapting. No uh, and it's over. <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff. I mean, that's that's Still that top player shit right there. It is some top player shit. <laughs> that's that's what you gotta do. That's. I mean, that that's exactly right there. If you can't do that, you're not a top player. Yeah. That's so get, get, go back in the lab until you can do that. What are you waiting for? <laughs> yeah. no excuse. Yeah. Number eleven. All right, what do I end the stream with? What song do I end the stream with? Uh, you could you could do the same one you do all the time, or no, you could do I don't. just I don't know anything. Do you know anything from the new build? You could do that. Just like I don't know. Is like a teaser. No, I don't know shit. Shine Corp. You know new the, build song, the song I always use. Play Bleed American. I could. The song I always used uh, started getting copyright claimed. <laughs> Is it yeah, really? Like after the fact, it's so annoying. Oh, that's actually stupid. It's a banger though. Well. Yeah, it is a banger. Um, Maybe you should make your own. It's exactly the same with like sick. slightly different like sounding drums, so it doesn't get cold. Right. Here, you know what we can listen to? <laughs> this is what we can listen to. Let's listen to Plock Beach theme. All right, all right. All right. Cool. Plock Beach. You know, you've heard the song, right? Uh, Probably. Yeah. The song's tight. Yeah, dude. Wait, hold on. We gotta stay. We got to stay here for the change. Time signature change. Yeah. Hold up. It's coming up soon. Yeah. <laughs> Wanna get like a Wait, are they leaving? Just want to get like a theremin. Just play this. Just move your hands up. Uh, they're not leaving without me. So. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, we're gonna leave. This is try point number. I don't remember. 98. 98. Two more until TPS 100. Fuck yeah. I want to see you all here. True. Hell yeah. All right. All right. Peace out, guys. Bye.